So when last we left off, uh, we had just murdered something. Uh, I don't remember what we had just murdered, but we just killed something. I think that's a pretty safe uh, statement. Uh, considering where we are, I don't think that we just got murdered. So let's take a look at our items. I want to see if I have any of the uh, hair on me. This is definitely not the right thing. have any hair. Oops. Right. Uh, do not see any hair. Okay, so we don't have any hair. <clears throat> so these are things that I am making. So interestingly enough, they do show up as items, though. That's kind of cool. All right, uh, let's see. But again, I'm not gonna. I don't consider them uh, consumables for the purpose of this run, uh, considering that they're uh, they're not made from anything, as far as I can tell. So let's see. Rare item is made. Of the... Oh, so this allows me to summon my Amrita with me with the thing. Interesting. So that allows me to get my bo my body back from like a boss or something like that, presumably. Let's see here. Horror guy shell. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so we can go to the blacksmith. Do we have anything to do here? Uh, bunch of random crap that I can get rid of if I want. Forge. We can forge these, but there's not really a lot of reason to do that. I don't think. Okay, I think we're going to just pop over to the shrine. We can level up. Unfortunately, I didn't do all of the other stuff that I probably should have. So I have the ability, if I so choose, to... This gives me plus three magic skill points. I kind of want to do all of the side missions. So I think what I'm going to do is... That gives me plus 30 versus Yokai Realm. That's pretty crazy. But so if I want to do all the side missions and unlock all the stuff that I can unlock, then I'm going to have to get my magic index up to 10. So doing so would allow me to actually get really overpowered really quickly because I'd get access to that regen spell pretty quickly. So the question is, do I want to do this now and start pushing myself toward the point where I start escalating out of control? Or do I want to keep pretending that this is a good idea? <clears throat> yes, thank you, Christy. I, that is intentional. I actually changed shirts specifically because the other green shirt that I had did not quite make me look enough like a floating head. Uh, I woke up around three o'clock actually i've been i've been nocturnal recently because cause is nocturnal right now let's see i am playing uh neo which is a game that combines dark souls with like really cute stuff so right now i'm leveling up and basically turning myself into a god because i can so we're gonna go ahead and learn some omnio magic specifically is this it's not it. It's not it. Not it. Though the Carnage Talisman seems like a fun thing to try out at some point. Uh, here's the Oasis Talisman. So this is just OP as hell. And I can also get this if I want. I'm actually going to get this. So we're going to pick this up. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting uh, combination of things. So, give me a second to ready my new OP nonsense. And I do have the ability to ready these. So this gradually read thingers my health. I don't have to stand in it like I have to stand for Oasis. So what is it? Nope. Okay, so this is a right. Uh, no, I didn't get a haircut. I haven't had a haircut in a while. I haven't had a haircut since before the uh, stuff. But, I mean, my hair was pretty short before, so it's not... 
<laughs> it's not like it's going to get that crazy that quickly. Uh, do we want to go to Heir of the Inyo or Bridge of Bone? I guess I'll do Bridge of Bone first because Bridge of Bone is lower level. So we'll get less OP. Oh, by the way, I do think that it's important that if you look at my conquest points, uh, they are elite right now, so I should not kill any more people and should exclusively fight normal things because I have the maximum number of conquest points for maximum awesomeness. Ah, Sir Anjan, thank you for coming. I received word from the villagers in my domain that the Darkest Night bandits appear from nowhere and stream over Ahashi Bridge to attack them. I've assembled my strongest samurai to take care of the matter, but would you mind lending your assistance? We could use it in time is of the essence. <clears throat> but yeah, I also have a cute puppy, and I go around tracking down Kodama. So this, this game is a very interesting combination of things. Since ancient times, bridges have been an indispensable port part of transportation. However, some bridges are thought not to span just space, but also human and yokai realms. When night falls on bridges in some places, gates are shut and guards posted to prevent strange things from crossing over. Nice. Anjin is pilot in um, Japanese, and this character is actually based off of a real port person. So uh, this guy is a English pilot named William something what's your name i don't remember what his name is i forgot his name's john blackthorne in shogun but that's not his real name uh but yeah he's, he's based off of a real character and it is basically well he's not asian actually he is english he is english i thought that he was asian too but he has blue eyes and he is actually but then again he does have he seems like he's clearly the reincarnation of somebody there's no way that this guy is, like, a legit European. Let's see. Do we want to break our leapness? I guess not yet. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Why is my camera so tight? Oh, gee, there's a wall. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't be fine? So let's go ahead and activate our new OP shit. So now I'm going to be regenerating. <clears throat> oh, and I'm using Tonfa, which are the best weapon ever invented. So there's that as well. <clears throat> Geralt number two seems like an appropriate name for him. Whoa, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, how's it going? Yep, too close. Oh, shit. Circle dance is the best dance. Oh. So I'm no longer locked in. That's cool. Let's uh, activate this before we hop in here. There's a hole in the ground here. Oh, hey, buddy. Could you stop launching random nonsense at me? Excuse you. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse you. That did 3,000 damage. Okay, who's here? Hey, buddy. Oh my god, what the fuck are you? You're new. So you can actually do interesting things. Bye. Cool. So we got a demon horn off of that. And this is open now. Let's go ahead and regen ourselves. Yeah. This is this is so OP. I feel bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this level on the first try. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop myself a potion. 
Oh, you piece of shit. These are the most asshole enemy in the entire game. Alright. I got lucky. <laughs> so there's one there. Anybody over this direction? Oh, yep, there is that guy. Okay. This is not something I can fall into quite yet. Oh, shit. Oh, wrong stance! <sighs> Did I already kill that thing? Oh. I already killed the other thing. Yep, fail. Fail again. There we go. Okay, I don't know what the purple shit is doing. It's doing something. <sighs> yes, Genjolt san. I approve. Oh boy. Anybody else? Nope. Nope, that was really silly of me. Considering how easy these guys are, do I want to allow myself to- I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Just for the hell of it. Oh shit. Puppy power! Is it really just those guys? No, okay. So we do have this guy, who's new. You know what? Today's a cheating kind of day, isn't it? Just blow you up with puppy power. How long is this gonna last? All day, apparently. Okay, well. That was a bit hacky and cheaty, but, you know, it's fine. It's all fine. Are you guys... real chests, or are you... <laughs> the puppy blade ult is pretty awesome. I was not expecting to see that many enemies, but... So no tanuki here, just real chests. But yeah, the puppy, puppy Blade ult I have been avoiding using for the most part, but I wanted to show it off there. Uh, I don't use it for anything that's actually hard, because it feels really cheating to <laughs> summon the power of Puppy. But for the most part, those those last enemies were pretty easy. The only one that was a uh, trouble is actually the the one in the middle, the big purple guy. He I don't actually know what his uh, attack patterns are. He could have actually been a problem. That whole mission actually probably could have been puppied the whole way, because every time you kill an enemy, it refreshes the duration on your puppy ult. So... I'm in your debt, Sir Anjan. I hear the yokai appeared and took many lives. A great loss, since all were among the finest samurai. But at least their deaths were not in vain. The service has been quieted. Here's your reward, and fewer people to divide it between. Your share is all the greater. Indeed, except he should be doing angry English yelling because he's English, but to be fair, he seems way too Japanese. <clears throat> hey, this guy, this guy is not nearly as useless as Genji is the rest of the time. That's not fair. Genji is actually pretty useful if you're actually good with him, but <laughs> why would anybody who's actually good with a character be uh, involved in this conversation? I can I cannot play shooters for the life of me. Let's see here. Thank you for, for coming, Zaranjan. We put down the yokai that have overrun Itsukushima ourselves, but did not succeed. In fact, even my sword was stolen. By rights I should sit on my stomach slit my stomach and die in disgrace, but the Mori need me yet. Sir Anjan, it shames me to ask you this, but will you slay the yokai and retrieve my sword for me? Well, he just arrived. He's freshly arrived in Japan. Uh so he had like 
some fairy thing as his spirit creature, and then that got stolen by Roger Bacon from Shadow Hearts. Uh, he doesn't look anything like Roger Bacon. He looks like he his he has tattoos that are for that look like the Revelation thing, which I think is actually the Sephiroth. But I'm not actually sure. But basically, he he has tattoos that replicate an attack that Roger Bacon has, so he's clearly Roger Bacon. So. Uh, Itsu Kushima, located in the Aki domain, is a shrine built in the 12th century atop a basin of holy water, now contaminated by yokai energy to the point of ruination. The previous head of the Kobayakawa family, Takagage, took great pains to reconstruct and protect the shrines in the west, but Hideaki has proven himself not up to the task, and the area is now infested with yokai and pirates. But he can, he can randomly speak Japanese now. I think he got the ability to from one of his guardian spirits, question mark. Because he seems to have the ability to just sort of, like... Um, so, apparently, Guardian Spirits reproduce by, like, mitosis. So, basically, one, one person will have a Guardian Spirit, and then I will touch them. And, well, I'll get near them. And I think when I get a light... When they have, like, oh, a life debt to me or something, because they're just so... I'm just so awesome. When they owe me a life debt for whatever reason their guardian spirit like splits in half and then there's two of them and I have one and they have one it's a very strange thing I don't know a huge amount about like the the lore of different yokai but I mean it's a Japanese game so presumably they know what they're doing <laughs> I, I do one thing that I really like is that when you think of like the Dark Souls series you tend to think of games that are like just full dark no stars and one thing that's nice in this one is that you have simultaneously like these really dark elements of like all of these monsters are the direct like the direct results of asshole humans doing asshole human things um and that's why there are yokai running around it's not because the monster the demon king wants to take over the world it's because oh asshole humans are going to war with each other and it's creating a rift in the spirit realm, which has resulted in like an imbalance between the uh, the more violent and uh, dangerous uh, spirits like these and the cute ones, right? So there's a pow power imbalance in the spirit world that's directly caused by human actions, right? But at the same time, <clears throat> um. You also still have, like, a bunch of, like, really, like, incredibly cute things. Like, my guardian spirit is, like, this cute fire dog thing that I absolutely love. So apparently lighting this is relevant for my interests. So I guess I'll set this on fire. Setting things on fire is generally a good strategy. So I'm going to check. Hey, the guy's in here, so... Hey, there's the trick. Well played. Ouch. I was legitimately taken by surprise by that, so well played. I should have checked the ceiling. And let's see. Okay, not a tanuki. Unless there's tanuki that aren't going to respond to my whistling. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's that simple. It's not even about evil people. It's about the things that people are doing. So the war itself, it doesn't matter which side you're on. The fact that you're at war empowers the spirits of war. So it's not a matter of like good versus evil. It's a matter of actions have consequences, right? So the more conflict that exists in the world, the more like conflict exists in the spirit realm because the spirit realm is sort of like a direct reflection of the real world it's actually similar to forgotten realms in that regard uh but much more direct instead of being like people's beliefs it's just sort of like the karmic you know result so <clears throat> and yeah that's the that's the basic principle behind most like what I would say true, like, Japanese fantasy. 
is like, oh well, everything is shit because humans are shit. And your actions have consequences. And that's all great. Now I'm not entirely sure how me murdering all these yokai is going to lead to less conflict down the line. But I guess at the at, at its core, right? Like the thing that's interesting about it is that from a practical perspective, I'm fighting yokai to sort of prevent them from causing a bunch of damage and havoc. But at its core, it's pretty well established that the solution to the problem that we have right now is not to kill enough yokai to like cause some sort of change in effect. The yokai really are just directly caused by the war. So the way to resolve the yokai situation in the long term is to stop the war. To put an end to the conflict. So... Almost killed myself. How are you not... I don't know how he didn't get... Oh, you're gonna die from the poison, aren't you? Okay, well, I'm just gonna let that happen. Bye. Alright. <clears throat> so we got... Oh no! I got glory! No. Okay, I no longer have leap glory. Let's see. Marginaling to the lore of the Toho Project. Ah, uh, yeah. I, see, I don't. I don't know a huge amount about Japanese mythology, right? The the lore of how like spirits and everything works and all their interaction. It's it's all complicated, right? Like, there's a lot of interaction. There's a million and a half deities of various kinds, ah, and. I don't know that you necessarily can really understand it. I don't know that it's meant to be understood. If that makes any sense? Uh, are you are you poisoned? You are. Nope, oh, that was silly of me. Oh, okay, so that has good tracking. Good to know. That'd be pretty cool. Technically, what I'm fighting right here is, it, is like some sort of revenant. So it's like the soul of some dude that died here. So this is actually... It might not actually be another player's corpse. Now that I think about it. This might not be a corpse of a real player. But most of these are actually the corpses of actual players. So like me having died there, I might have just left a corpse. I'm not sure. You might only leave a corpse if you're you die a second time. Excuse you. Oh, I almost just killed myself by walking into water. That would've been cool. Uh, I can't use the puppy power for this, because this is not trivial. Next time I see some little skeleton or something, I'll try to use puppy power. You know me, I can't use things where they would actually be useful. But luckily, I just got myself set on fire by some douchey douche. And let's go over here, I guess. God damn it. Okay, so how do I get to you? I can't get to you right now, can I? If I had a bow, I mean, I do have a bow. If I was allowing myself to use my bow. Oh yeah, I have to arc mode it. I've gotten too good at the Soulsborne series like, the Soulsborne-style games to actually do it the way that I used to. Like, back in the day, I was not good enough to need to put any restrictions on. But now, I really... I need the restrictions. Yes, 
die of your wounds, sir. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and plop up our regen. I could just go to the finger, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so we've got this here. We gotta do the, oh, this this one's activating. Do I want to? I don't actually know exactly where I'm going. It looks like I'm just going to the end there. Do I have to fight this Revenant? Yes. So I would have to fight this Revenant if I fuck around here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this Revenant here. I think these Revenants will not respawn. Let's see if I can hit you. Well, where the fuck? Oh shit! Hey, buddy. That is suboptimal. Oh shit! Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Okay, so now we have a bunch of skulls wandering around, and this asshole who could have gotten a clean shot on me there, but just decided not to for some reason. That guy was not in a good posture to break through my guard, so he it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna pop down here. Grab you. And am I gonna get Wow, I killed all three of them without running into them like a dang noob. Imagine that. Okay, so we've got the water element on our weapon now. This is a level 54. This is a level 43. So it looks like we would have to just go into this direction. Anybody in here? There's a body. Anybody up top? Nope. Anybody back here? Maybe? Question mark? Nope. The Surge. Uh, what is the Surge? And... I mean, I, I will arc mode anything that I touch, but what the specific arc mode will de depend on, like, the actual game in question. Ooh! This is a level 61. The water element thing basically does additional water element damage when I hit things, as well as um, cause an effect on the enemy. So if I deal enough water element damage to them, it'll trigger an effect that um, reduces their uh, armor. Dark Souls on steroids with... Sounds like fun. So that was a new attack. I don't think I've actually seen them do that. Uh, but yeah, depending on the combat system... Oh, I thought that was an item. I'm an idiot. Uh, depending on the combat system, if it's similar enough to uh, these kinds of games, then I might not need a... Uh, oh, sorry, then I would uh, need to implement arc modes. But if it's... Um, if it's a completely differentiated combat system that I am not any good at, then I might need to just do the normal stuff. So it'll, it'll really depend. So let's see here. Do we want to... <laughs> let's kill this guy's website. It's, it's fine. Uh, dual blades tend to be pretty easy for me. Oh, boy. That's a cannon.
I feel like Tonefa are kind of a a uh, hard counter to dual blades. Oh. At least they are when you don't take an extra delay there. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, Tonefa are kind of a hard counter because the um, the dual blades can't actually break through your guard. So you can basically just guard through everything and call it a day. Is this going to act trigger? No, it's not. We're fine. Uh, so we're going to go grab our body before we do anything else. Where's, it, where's my body? It's right here. Okay, Poppy is guarding my body. And now we can go over here. Do I want to take out the uh, Tonefa guy? Where was the Tonefa guy? He's right here. Is there anybody in here? No. Okay. So this is... This guy, actually, I want to fight in as small a place as possible. So I'm actually going to fight him in here. Because I want to be able to basically hide behind a wall if he pulls out that fucking cannon. But you can see that he's burning his own stamina faster than he's burning mine. So I can just burn him down and then do thinger like that, where he's basically killing himself on me. It's kind of like playing... <clears throat> there was there was a certain patch or series of patches in, uh, in World of Warcraft where if you were a prot warrior, a, any, a stunlock rogue would actually kill themselves on your body. Because every time they're white hitting you, they're hurting themselves for more than they're hurting you. And they're not dealing enough damage because they're investing into stun lock instead of ambushes. They're not doing any, enough damage to actually uh, kill you before they kill themselves. So it, it was really fun in AV because you'd just be sitting on a, on a tower and these stun lock rogues would come in you, at you thinking that they're going to be able to kill you. And then they'd literally just kill themselves. <laughs> it was glorious. Unfortunately, they did eventually uh, nerf the ever-loving shit out of that. Uh, and I don't think that that's currently a viable strat, but... Uh, there are penalties if you die twice. So basically, uh, the you, you saw earlier that the puppy uh, was guarding my body. And with a, as long as the pup is guarding my body, everything's fine. Uh, but if... The, if I don't have my guardian spirit with me because it's guarding my body already, and I die again, I lose both corpses and the, the guardian spirit comes back to me. So I lose all the souls that I gained on the previous attempt and on the one that I just was on because I, don't, I didn't have a guardian spirit. So if you actually take the guardian spirit away, so if you deactivate your guardian spirit completely, uh, then you actually get to the death penalties immediately because you don't have any guardian spirit to guard your body. So it's it's similar to Dark Souls. It's but it's a bit more. It's actually a little bit more um, punishing than Dark Souls. Not a lot more punishing, but a little bit. Because if you do die twice, then you lose both life's worth of uh, resources, not just one death's worth. So. Uh, but you can summon your corpse to you. I have ten items that do that, but I'm not, I don't actually invest in doing that. Generally speaking in these games, once you get to a certain level, it's reasonably unlikely that you're going to lose your souls. So the death penalty ends up just being uh, like something that is a little disruptive for what your immediate behaviors are going to be, rather than something that's like, you're not actually going to lose your souls from a practical perspective. So what do I want to do here? Because I feel like I'm going to want to... Should I puppy power this guy just for the hell of it? Oh, you know what? I should puppy power this Oni over here because he's really easy. And... Puppy power! And life is good. 
I apparently did not grab this just now. And this guy I don't think respawns. The summoners usually don't respawn, I don't think. And that is not an item. So I think my goal right now is to get up to the rooftops. Oh, does this guy aggro? No. Oh, I can't get up this way. Interesting. I don't think I can get up. Yeah, I can't get up this way. This is a level 60 with the Nodachi. Uh, no thank you. Okay, so it looks like this route is just blocked. And that I do have to go through that big guy. This is interesting, because this was a very non-linear level when I came through it before. But this version of it is very linear. Alright, buddy. Let's be super overly aggressive. Oh, shit. This is why being super overly aggressive is generally but considered a bad thing. There we go. So fucking OP. So OP. <laughs> oh, that one's already lit. Sacred Brush. Uh huh. There was a shrine over there, though. How do I get over there, then? I was thinking I needed to go through the roof, but it looks like I can't get up there from here, either. This boat blocks both paths. So, this looks like it might be a smaller area than I thought it was. Do I just go to the boss, then? Because I saw a shrine. I guess there's no Kodama in this level. It's fine. So we're just going to pop into the boss fight. What could possibly... Didn't automatically trigger a boss fight. Uh-huh. So this one is not lit. It's not lit. I want to light it. So how do I get over there? I must have missed something when I was over here. Because you can... Yeah, there's, I've got to be able to get over there, right? I've I got to be able to get over there. I don't understand it. Can I just walk over there from there and I just am a dummy and didn't realize it? I could probably just walk over there. Yeah, the last time I opened that door, a giant water monster attacked me. I think I can just literally walk there. Wow, well played, Ark. This is a place that I've literally gone to before. Alright, level 60 with... No... Why does everybody have that same weapon? Is that like the meta weapon or something? Yeah, I actually came here. So, can I go into this room? Oh my god. That is a lot of friends. Hey, buddy. Excuse you. So, we have one of these. So, you just spawned. Is that because there's an asshole here? I don't, I don't hear any music. Okay. That's fine. So, I'm gonna just try to dive that guy, I guess. Seems fine. So now we've got this guy. Well played. Oh wow, that poison damage. Just 200 damage from the poison. By the light of dawn be purged. There we go. So, any shinies that I want to fight? 50. Well, 58. Uh, this guy's only level 53. Beaten to death by one I don't need. I love also that you can see what they're killed by. Wait, I'm surprised. I, I almost never see people that are using Tonfa. And I find that very strange. Because Tonfa are like the best weapon ever invented. So why are people not using them? Oh! We got... You drowned. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's see here. 
you are level 48. Wow, nice. So, I'm always impressed when I see low level. Oh, there you go. I should have looked up. Uncommon item collector. Yay, reputation increase. Alright, do we want to take down these dual blade users, or do we want to get to the shrine first? I think I want to get to the shrine first, and then we'll come back to it. Fine. And there is some sort of a yokai here. I don't want to go that way. There's not really, not really much reason to... Everybody, who is it? Alright, so it's one of these guys. Let's pull back a bit. The most dangerous thing about this place is not the enemies, it's the uh, environment. Yep. Oh, shit. Mistakes were made. Okay, fine. I need to run back further. Okay. Put up regen because it's the most OP thing in all of existence. And I say that, the most OP in all, thing in all of existence is probably the fact that I can just sneak up on you again. Oh, and then knock you off. <laughs> okay, I'm out of regens. Oh man, this regen is so cheesy. Okay, so. Did I see. So is that the. Dude. Might be a dude. So there's the shrine. Uh, do we want to puppy power this little tiny baby? Let's, let's let's kill this baby boy with the power puppy. And then we can uh, we can't go across here. We have to go here. Uh, fuck you, game. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay. And that is something that I'll need to come back to. So I have two options here. At least I did in the previous one. How are you? pretty impressive for someone with that weapon. I mean, it's impressive generally to be that low level here, I think. Okay, who are you? Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, yes, the Tonfa are the, the weapons that I'm using, and they do look like police batons. Sorry, I'm, I'm distracted by how lovely the murder is. Let's see here. Okay, there goes your head. And there we go. There we go. So we can activate this. I don't know what lighting all three of them does for me. Uh, in the previous one, it helped me against the boss. Uh, in this one, I don't know what it's going to do. Actually, it was really cool, because it did two things uh, for me last time. Last time, it both helped against the boss because it allowed me to set my weapons on fire, which is good for me but it also actually negated one of the boss's mechanics twice in the fight. So... Who aggroed? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, there's two of you, apparently. Oh, are you on fire? No. Okay, no Tanuki here, so... Uh, the shrine is both the sort of 
save point, so you will respawn there when you die. It is for leveling, it is for offering stuff to the Kodama, for changing up your blessings, and for setting your spells. So, it's basically a catch-all rest point for the area. <clears throat> I actually don't need to fight you, I'm just going to run past. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't run into there. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to activate the uh, shrine. So once we've activated this shrine, we can go to the boss. Yes, yes, it's exactly like a campfire. Sorry, I actually had forgotten about the campfire mechanic in Dark Souls. I couldn't actually remember how Dark Souls worked, because it's been a while. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see what titles I got. Uh, received elemental damage, and yokai close to combat damage. And let's see here. Uh, what is the next one here? Key boost. Okay. And what else do we have left to do? Uh, I'm going to learn... I, I can learn some more Omnio magic if I want, but I think I'm going to want to do the Adept thing first, because that'll allow me to do some cool stuff. Alternatively, because I am pumping my magic now... Ooh, do I want to do this? I think I can afford it now, right? I, I think I'm going to do this. So this, this allows me to get Carnage Talismans. And that'll be great. The other thing is that I'm curious about this. So I noticed that um, with Tonefa, all of this stuff seems to only affect me when I'm using Tonefa. So I should first do these. Uh, let's try it. And let's see here. Ooh, right. This is a nice thing. And I don't know how much I'm going to make use of that, but it looks like I just used all my my sam samurai points, so I'm not going to check the other thing anyway. <laughs> yes, everyone learns from Naruto at some point. <laughs> just Geralt just shows up in Japan. Uh, let's see here. And we're going to go back in here. And we now have all three of these flames lit, so I don't know what happens here. Do we fight the same boss again? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we fight uh, babies. Oh, shit, that's a new attack. I forgot. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Hello. Hello, buddy. How's it going? Nope, oh, that was silly. Okay. So, uh, it turns out that I'm going to have to fight a wave of enemies in here, and I was thinking I was only going to have to fight the, uh, the water dudes, so I wasn't really that concerned. And then it turns out that there's a big frickin' monster that shows up. And I think that's one of the more dangerous types of these, like, baseline Oni things. I don't actually know if they are Oni, they just look like Oni to me, so... Okay, I'm actually going to activate this now, so that I can immediately start bursting down these things. There we go. So that's the first one down. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that. Oh, that was silly. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Let's see. Garaji. <laughs> yes. I, li I like how his name just keeps changing. <laughs> it's like a hybridization of Geralt, Anjin, and Genji at this point. And they actually fit together really well. Uh, yes, actually that is, that is part of Kangaroo. Th that particular type of Oni is... Uh, originates in uh, Australia. Fun fact. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna ignore you for now. Where's my friend? There he is. So he spawns there. 
Oh shit, I'm still in. Ow. Okay, heads down. Oh, hey, buddies. Oh, that's the wrong spell. Uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Avalori. Yes, that's exactly what those are. Alright. Be aware of your surroundings. Indeed. Indeed. I have actually a lot of time on the water dudes at the beginning, so I might be able to burn them down really quick. Uh, I also might be able to block the attacks from the big guy. The key is that I need to remember to swap back and forth between uh, high stance and mid stance. The high stance is better for the little dudes, but the, uh, the big dude I should really... Because the, the key is just that the high stance allows me to do this, and uh, get myself killed, because that's how I roll. Yep, that was not what I intended to do. Okay. This is a bad idea. I should have just killed him. That was silly of me. Those guys are not that hard if they're solo, and... It, because that's legitimately just like a rando. They're not. They're not trivial, and I don't really remember the their attack patterns very well. Uh, but I should not be. I should not be dying this much to just random dual wield oni. Though it is kind of funny that the dual wielding oni are so much harder for me to deal with than dual-wielding humans. So, phase one... is underway. Okay, horns down. Done. So that's phase one. Who's next? We got more things popping out of the ocean. Do not have fire anymore. So who else spawned? Okay, so we got one of those guys now. That guy's actually easier because he's not going to move as fast. So. Don't walk into the water. I was expecting that to kill. Oh, and drop it into there. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Oh. Six or eight. Oh. Let's just keep making the six for this whole fight, shall we? Shit. That was silly of me. Okay, well, let's start regening back up. I cannot believe I could let myself get hit by this guy. <laughs> it's like... They hit like trucks, but... How do you... What the fuck are you? That's a big swing. I've never seen one of these before. That was silly of me. Okay, everything's fine. I almost killed myself there. Should have died. Uh, let's see. Still regenerating. I'm kind of just 
gonna... Okay, that's not too unusual. Nope! Oh, okay, so you have full 360 degree uh, thing over that. Uh, I don't know, it could be. It could be a Tengu, but I don't I don't actually know. It's it's really hard to say because the uh, the specifics of the way that they um, will visually show things just varies. So am I gonna have to kill that whole thing again? I think I will. Yes. Okay. So don't do that anymore. I actually should swap that out now. Oh, that was the you're gonna spawn, aren't you? You're gonna spawn. Thank you. Okay. So, do we want to deal with you first? I think we do. Oh, walk into the water. Yay, chip damage! gonna jump in the water. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. This, this fight's got on long enough. I'm just gonna jump in the water. It's cool. It's cool. Why would I need to stay alive? You, also, you'd think that I'd be able to swim, considering that, you know, I am literally a ship's pilot that got from freaking England all the way here. right on top of me. Somewhat suboptimal. Oh. Okay, let's just walk into all of the damage field. Yeah, why would we want to break the horn, right? Okay. Do I want to activate... What do I want to activate? Okay. Oh, that was silly of me. God damn it, why do I keep getting myself killed by this asshole? Like, I should have died there. Uh, let's see here. Oh my god! I'm still not used to the fact that I've swapped that weapon, uh, that, that uh, thinger, so... Okay, we do have regen here. silly to me. Ah, life is sad. <laughs> Call me out to clear stacks. Indeed. And uh, I'm actually going to tinker with my setup a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that thing that is objectively screwing with me, because this is a bad fight for that ability. Uh, I, I just learned a new... Oh, that's not right. Oh, it's not here. It's, not here. it's uh, here. So... This is the 
weapon type. So, da, 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 da. okay, mountain breaker. Yeah, the, the death bird is pretty cool. I think it's just a normal enemy. I don't think it's an actual boss uh, archetype. It's just that I need to learn how to do it. The uh, the enemy itself actually is pretty similar to um, one of the other enemies that I've seen. So... I shouldn't be having as much trouble with it as I am, honestly. I think that I just need to be blocking. I'm actually going to stick to high stance for you. Because okay. high stance allows me to break his horn there. So, where's my friends at? Where are my friends going to come in from? There you are. Oh, fail. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot that I have the, uh... I don't have my fire on, so... So all I have to do now is not do really, really dumb things against this guy. I've got a comfortable combo. that I've used a million times to kill enemies like this. And I'm just going to use it. It's quick and dirty. It's actually pretty slow. It's not quick, but... Quick, slow, it's all the same thing, right? So I'm actually going to see if I can block your attacks. I can't block that attack. Like, just at all. Can I block your weapon? I can actually block your weapon pretty effectively. Okay, that is bad, because he's going to kill me now. He did not kill me. And interestingly enough, I have enough guard there. That was silly of me. Ah. Take one quick hit and then block. Don't do that. But yeah, I, th I should be able to get him on my next attempt. It turns out that you can block almost everything that he does. <sighs> Don't run off the cliff into the water. Uh, do I have anything that I want to do? No, I don't think I have to do anything. We're all set. It would actually be convenient to... Uh, Ooh, I wonder when I can do that. If I can get it with the Adept thing, that would be awesome. Oops, I forgot to actually get the... I forgot to, I forgot to turn on my fire. I don't wanna, yeah, I'm going to stick to mid for this guy, actually. Particular second. Shit, should have double dodged. Oh, 
Oh, jeez, I almost just ran off a cliff again. And then I was too busy talking and killed myself. Whoopsies. Like I said. Okay. And then you die. So, let's try this again. Let's try to not suck at life. We will fail at that, but we will suck at life just... Just, just enough lack of suck to get through this fight, which is legitimately not a terribly difficult encounter. So you're toast. You're toast. Can I actually block your attacks? I mean, you're a dual wielder. I don't think my uh, hard counter to dual wielders counts to uh, when they're literally a pony, though. Oh, shit. this. Yep. I believe you can die. Oh, that was silly me. Yep, let's just, let's just kill ourselves. That seems like a great strategy for victory. And let's pop over here. We're in the wrong corner. Actually, no, we're not. We should be in. Oh, that's a three-hit combo. <laughs> Indeed. It's it's actually very hard for me to unlock the power of rage because I have a very very high tolerance for failure, so I don't really rage easily. I. That's not true. Just give me one minute of like, really cobbled together bullshit dialogue where it's like, this is from three separate scripts. What the hell is wrong with you people? You're not even pretending. So that, that'll do it. But me dying in video games does not tend to result in rage. Alright. He actually would have hit me there if it wasn't so low on HP. You're toast. You're a, you're just a douche, is what you are. Because you spawn right next to this guy. You're like, oh. Have you considered dying? So that can be a three hit combo, I think. that. 
shit. Okay, broke it into the thing. Done. And that is a Tengu, I think, because I just got a Raven Tengu Toko. My Little Pony. Yes, unlock the power of friendship. Uh, I actually could unlock the power of friendship, uh, but I can't because uh, arc mode. So you do have the ability to come in and do cooperative stuff. Um, I could even jump into someone else's world and help them out, uh, which would not necessarily explicitly go against the rules of my thing. Uh, I don't know if I want to do it or not, though, because it might give me rewards that... Um, Hey! I mean, you are only one person. Don't worry, I will white savior you, friend. I like the machinations there. Which of these would-be shogun should I be trying to ally with here? I like the political machinations that are involved in uh, the sort of like God, what's this? What's this era, this era called? God, I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a Japanese word, and I can't remember it. Ooh, we got Master Samurai Locks. So, Sir Anjin, I cannot thank you enough. In truth, the Kikawa and Kobayakawa should have resolved this alone, but no, I shall speak no more of that. Allow me to lend you this sword as an expression of gratitude. Such blades sit best in the hands of samurai such as yourself. I don't think I'm a samurai yet, actually. When I have surpassed my father and become a warrior as fierce as the Neo of old, then I shall come to ask for it back. I'm actually curious when this guy actually became a samurai, because I know he did become a samurai eventually but I don't know what the timing on that was. One thing that I find interesting about this is that I feel like a lot of this game, you don't get a huge amount of detail on the plot. And I feel like if you understood more, I think this is the Sengoku era. It might not be, but I think this might be the Sengoku era. Uh, but if I knew more about the actual details, the political situation at this time period, I would have a better understanding of what the fuck is going on. Because I know that I'm helping... It seems like I'm helping... I don't even remember whose side I, I'm on. Like, I, I was pretty sure I was on Tokugawa's side, but I'm in, like, the western side of Japan, and Tokugawa's in the east, right? So, I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's all, it's all working fine. We cannot do the adept version of this quite yet, but one more point. One more point of magic, and we'll be able to access the purification gesture, and more importantly, access some higher level uh, spells, which will be cool. The other thing that we have access to is at some point we can do this level 75 mission, and I'm wondering when we want to do that. And the other thing is we can also do... Do I want to do a random encounter to cooperate with other players? I'm one like... I could visit someone else and help help them to... So should I? Should I do that, or does that constitute cheating? Because I don't... You know what? I don't know what the rewards are. I'm going to see. I don't think... Without conditions, secret word. I don't know what that does. I guess search with secret word would mean, like, using a password so that you get the people that you want. Which is nice. So I'm going to give this enough time for me to go get my drink and come back. And if we get something, then we'll see how it goes. Whoa, that sounds totally different. <sighs> this is almost completely full. Uh, but this is, this is an old game. 
And it's, so this is weird. These are actually noise canceling headphones and I tend to forget that. And so I take off the headset and then it's like, I'm in a totally different universe. My voice sounds totally different. Everything sounds different. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So once I pour myself a drink, if I haven't found a match, then I'm going to cancel this because this is an old game. There's probably not that many people online. And <clears throat> with most of these games, people are more likely to be trying to murder each other than they are trying to uh, help each other or get help. So doesn't look like I'm going to get a match here. So we're just going to cancel this. It's fine. Maybe when I do Neo 2, I'll be able to do more online stuff. Uh, but for now, the only online component is us murdering the souls of everyone who has died. So we're murdering them after they've already been murdered. It's actually kind of sad for them. First they get killed. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? I would be very helpful. See, the thing, the, the, the problem for me is when I'm in somebody else's world, the tiny, tiny amount of, like, self-preservation that I have goes completely out the window. And so I will just run into someone else's world and then just get myself horribly killed in the stupidest ways possible because that's just the way that I go. So it's like, I'm helping, charge! <laughs> it's, the, the number of times that I left Mesh to die after just charging in the stupidest way possible to a boss that I just finished soloing <laughs> is innumerable. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fun way to do it. <clears throat> hey, when I'm a tank, I am way more careful. I'm way more careful. Sir Anjan, my apologies for summoning you so frequently. I have called you today because my finest sword was stolen again? Or is this a different person who's sort of stolen? Come on, man. Who swarmed my palanquin? I escaped unharmed, but as you know, a warrior's sword is his life. Yeah, I mean, so seppuku is your only option. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I, Hideaki, shall obliterate the bandits and retrieve the sword myself, is what I thought at first. But as the head of the clan, it would be irresponsible for me to leave him at first into danger. Will you go on my behalf? No, commit seppuku. It's the only option for you. Okay, so, I will get your sword, and then I will keep it, because that's how things go. Game crashed. Okay, then. That was weird. So I wonder what happens if the game crashes. I don't know that I saved when I was on that screen. Oh boy. I hope I didn't lose anything when I did that. <coughs> I've done this, I've streamed this like eight times now and never had a crash and then all of a sudden I just crash immediately when I'm trying to do the thing. I am happy that Steam seems to have figured out how to get PlayStation controllers to work though. Like, configuring PlayStation controllers was, like, a huge part of the reason that I just didn't play that many of these games. It's just because it's, like, I don't want to have to fuck around with my controller. It's just a nuisance. And that seems to be completely gone now. I actually got freaking FF7 working, and FF7 is just an asshole because the, uh, the analog sticks override the D-pad. But analog sticks are a terrible way to navigate menus. So for those who don't know, with the original PlayStation, they did have analog controllers, but for old PlayStation 1 games, if you turned on the analog, it overrode the D-pad completely. So your analog that you had would basically become the D-pad. And that was really useful for wandering around the map and doing things like that, but it was really shitty for um, doing certain other types of things. Give me a second, I want to go to disassemble and see if I've... Okay, it looks like everything's saved, so we're, we're totally fine. Let's see. No, I'm not playing this with a keyboard. I'm using a controller. I've, I have played a little bit of Dark Souls with a keyboard. I actually am totally comfortable uh, using a keyboard for, um, for platformers. So I did use a keyboard for, um, for Hollow Knight 
but using a keyboard for Hollow Knight was a mistake. I really tore up my hand when I was in the Path of Pain, and I actually had to switch over because of the Path of Pain, because it was just too painful. Uh, but from a practical perspective, I'm, I'm kind of like dual literate with computer and, uh, or sorry, with keyboard and with controller for that stuff. An ominous coast that has caused many shipwrecks, whether it does so because of unusual currents or another more sinister power is unknown. Regardless, it's best known for locals as the graveyard of ships, if that wasn't enough. Lately, many soldiers claim to have seen undead spirits at yokai wandering its shores. <laughs> Keyboards are warriors. <laughs> 50 because, for, said because of the fire pup. Speaking of which, there's actually multiple of them. The fire pup is the one that I use because it's the default one that I started with, but I actually have a bunch of them. So... I can actually change my Guardian Spirit to uh, Lightning Pups. I think this is two Lightning Pups. And then this seems like it's a rabbit of some sort. I have a dragon thing. I've got a bull, apparently. I don't remember getting this. Uh, Daibawashi. I have all these different ones. I'm only going to use Kato because, like, why would I? <laughs> I've never heard of a controller warrior. Uh, let's see. Is this death? This is not death. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey. It's Ickle Baby Humies. Ickle Baby Humies. Time to die. And that is a fucking cannon in the background. And I actually was in a good position to not get hit by that, and then I went into position to get pwned. So they have a cannon. You just have a spear. Come on, just bring it. Just bring it. Just use all of your stamina. Come on. I'm not even. I'm not gonna even fight. Okay, fine. You can ask it. Just guard. Protect your life or whatever. Tonfa are a very funny weapon to use, because this guy was impaled by a rogue. Do I want to kill him? I wonder what the three swords there thing means. Uh, I probably will get a, a, a bear eventually. I don't have one now. You're really close to getting poisoned. Should I just poison him to death? I guess not, because I'm just gonna kill him. With this. Okay. <laughs> Wander off in search of noms instead of guarding. I don't know. A bear would be pretty good at guarding things because, like, all you have—it just sleeps, right? It just falls asleep on top of the thing, and then it's guarded because, like, what? Are you gonna just take it out from under the bear? The bear will eat you. Because you woke it up. Everyone knows that bears don't like being woken up. I feel really bad for human enemies in this game. Like, it really depends on your weapon type, because for the Tonfa, the Tonfa are really optimized for taking out humans, because you can literally just guard and just sit there blocking all of their attacks. Now, admittedly, this guy does have a gun, which makes my life a little bit harder than it has to be. Okay, so... We took out the ranged dude. Excuse me. And you are dual-wielding, so good luck, friend. You did not have sufficient luck. Let's see. I think, I think that falling asleep on a corpse 100% counts as guarding the corpse. Because, like, are you going to... I mean, how is it going to be taken? It's kind of like a, a, if you have a big enough goalie in soccer, you can just guard the goal by just blocking it with your body. It's totally 100% legit. 
Okay. Uh, the other weapons can block, but they're not as good at it. So uh, the the uh, Tonfa have really high parry values, which means that parry value basically determines how much stamina you lose when you block. So outside of a couple of attacks and like being attacked by the polearm weapons, the Nodachi type things, uh, pretty much anybody who attacks you as when you're using a Tonfa is actually going to take more stamina loss from using their attack than you uh, are going to have blocking it. So, like, see how he used all of his stamina on that attack, and I used basically nothing to block... Well, I used half of mine, but... Basically, he's continuously at a stamina deficit whenever he blo attacks into me. And that's without even me getting the perfect guard or anything like that, which is a thing that apparently exists. So... Which, I was trying to do a perfect guard there, because it's a mechanic that I unlocked, and I don't really know how it works. I'm going to just kill this guy like a normal human being. So it turns out that I can just walk into this. Oh, you're poisoned. Bye. Okay, so let's cast regen. The red glowy things on the ground are basically bodies. So these things are where somebody else died, and you can see how they died. And you can kill them and take their stuff. Uh, I don't think that that affects the actual person on the other side at all. Uh, but you're basically just killing a revenant that has spawned from their angry corpse. Ouch. So that's the thing that happened. <laughs> and now... I can go inside... And this is a dude that has a normal sword. I'm tempted to kill him. But at the same time, I'd kind of like to get to some sort of... Oh, let's just do it. What's the worst that could possibly happen? I die and then die again and lose 26,000 souls? So you can see that basically what I can do is I can basically just sit here guarding through the attacks, and then at a certain point there's going to be an opening, I counter, and they're so low on stamina by that point that I can just uh, burn straight uh, through their stamina bar, which allows me to do that. So once their stamina bar is down to the red, so that means they've hit zero from getting hit by me. Uh, they get basically hit stunned until for a little bit, and when they get hit stunned for a little bit, then they basically just are grappleable, and then you just punch them in the face and they die. Did you wake up to this? Daddy. Oh, this is just random dude zero one. And there are three Kodama in this level, so I need to find them as well. But when I was first starting, I was killing all of the uh, thingers. Well, I think that basically what you get is what they have. So you can get uh, a item that is the equivalent of whatever they've got. So, like, as an example, if you kill someone with the same weapon type as you, you have a pretty decent chance of getting a, um, a weapon of that type. And that can be really useful. I don't know if it's actually a copy of the weapon that the person has, or if it's just a copy of the rarity of it. Um, so I don't, I don't actually know that. Uh, I don't want to fight a Nodachi. Never mind. Be very, very loud. Oops. Oh, I was 
expecting you to get fingered by that, but I'm sure we'll go with this. Okay, activating this. <laughs> the power of Google compels you. But yeah, Kodama are little, like, uh, nature spirits. Uh, there's a lot of them in Princess Mononoke. Uh, that's interesting. So this is just like a hidden area over here. I don't want to go there yet, because that would be backtracking. Oh, hey, buddy! <laughs> that was amazing. Well played. Well fucking played. Oh, that was good. And the other one is... Oh, he's got a gun. Oh, you piece of shit. You've got a gunner up there, too? Oh, man. Oh, man. A tree beard is an ent, or a trant, which is kind of... It's mechanically very different from, like, a dryad or, like, an actual... Um, like, a spear, uh, like, a tree spirit. So... Like, an ant or a trant is basically a tree spirit that embodies a tree and moves around as a tree. Whereas, like, a dryad or a, um, or a kodama is a spirit that inhabits a tree. So these are actually the kodama, right? These right here are what the kodama look like. And they're just these cute little uh, critters. And they are very nice. So let's see here. Hey, buddy. Whereas, like, an ant is this gigantic, like, creature. not going to go step into the place. I think that they can't actually reposition the artillery. I don't think they can actually aim it to a new location. So, oh shit. Hang on. Hello, bullet boy. Okay, so we're now going to pop down. Yes. I mean, to be fair, that's not terribly specific since, I mean, Zeus basically wanted to have sex with everything. He was always DTM. That is his one defining characteristic. Yeah, Resto Druids are more similar to uh, Treebeard. Though, even then, it's a little different because they're transforming into a tree as opposed to being a tree, but close enough. Close enough for government work. Hey, buddy. boy here. Anybody in here? So how are we going to handle the asshole with a gun upstairs? Because that guy is going to cause problems for me. Hey, buddy. Okay. Anything else in here? Oh, oh geez, there's a thing in here. I forgot about you. Very slow. Nope, that was not the attack I thought you were doing. Purge the evil! Or not. Let's just fuck up the timing. It's it's cool. Why would I get the timing correct? Why would I do things correctly? 
against it. Oh! There's a staircase that I can use. Well then. This is what we in the business call a get wrecked moment. Is there going to be a dude behind this guy? My guess is yes, but... Heal this guy quick. We got a cannon boy over here. We should definitely deal with cannon boy here. Okay, the people in there did not attack me. Oh, you're not dead. Wow, that is the most durable cannon boy in existence. Uh, so there's the cannon boy over here. So, can I use these cannons to do anything interesting? Look out below! So the answer to that is no. Not those ones, anyway. Be fairly, fairly quiet. I'm hunting. A cannon, a cannon boy. Okay, so cannon boy's down. Oh, hey, buddy. You, you can stop pointing that gun at me now. You know, if you really want. Yeah, basically, my weapon has a poison effect built in. So if I deal enough damage, uh, sorry, if I deal enough uh, hits to them, it will stack up the poison counter to the point where they actually get the poison status effect. And from a practical perspective, if I poison something, it's dead. Because poison actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. But also because in order to actually poison them, I have to hit them 16,000 times. My poison effect is very weak right now. Uh, there might be a way for me to specialize it to it and do, uh, have it apply more effectively. But for right now, it's more of a, like... Oh, hey, buddy. So, who are you? Cut down by Rogue. Yeah, I almost got hit by that guy. Okay, you were not a Tanuki. And if I seem like a total madman whistling in every random box that I see, there's good reason for that. Sometimes the boxes aren't really boxes. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're raccoons with gigantic testicles. Giant. They use them to fly, you know. Uh, but yeah, so... Anyway, we're gonna kill this guy. Can I get climb up here without you killing me? I don't think so. I don't know how I'm gonna get to you. Like... Dude bro- Hey, there's a Kodama! Look. Tanuki are a totally real thing, and not like a figment of my fevered imagination. It's totally true. Alright. There we go. So you're dead. I can pick up the Kodama. Bring him back to the shrine. Hey, buddy. Let's go home, little fella. You need to give me all the shinies. So, we can pop over here, which allows us to then drop down. Anything else that I need to do up here? I don't think so, not yet. Who are you? You were... you froze to death? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? You drowned. I mean, that makes coherent sense. That's not openable. Oh, Jesus! Oh, hi! Hey, friend! Oh, my God! That was not an attack I was expecting! Oh, boy! Uh, you know what? Let's just stop down here. It's fine. Uh. 
She does seem to get hit stunned somewhat? Question mark? Oh god. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Why would it be fine? We're, we're good. Everything's everything's good. We're fine. We're fine. I totally know what I'm doing. Hey, buddy. Hey. You, I should be able to kill. As long as I don't completely suck at life. So... So there's a big difference between what I should be able to do and what I will be able to do. Uh, unfortunately, she has gone back upstairs, which means that uh, getting to her to kill her is going to involve the Walk of Shame. Uh, well, not quite the Walk of Shame, but pretty damn close. So, I don't know what she's weak against. You know what she's probably weak against? It's getting hit in the face with a cannon. Uh, let's pop over here. So now I know how someone froze to death up here. Uh, hello, lady. So how injured are you right now? You're pretty injured. But uh, you are also capable of fucking insta-gipping me, so there's that as well. So I should have healed up before I came here. Okay, what I'm going to try to do... Okay, we got this one. Oh god. We're fine. Everything's fine. First try. Nailed it. Ooh, a hank of yokai hair. So we got our hair. So. I can't open you. Okay. <sighs> Everything is totally fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Cut down by flying bolt. Hey, you're a dual swords person. Let's pull you down here so that it's easy to get back to my corpse if I do something dumb and die. Oh boy. Well, at least you're not using a gun. So. Oh god. Who did I just aggro? Oh Jesus! I forgot to kill these guys! Uh mistakes were made. Everything's fine though. Why wouldn't I want to fight two randos and the fucking revenant at the same time? Where the fuck am I? There I am, okay. It's a good thing the Revenant is a lot slower than these guys. Damn it. I was hoping to actually kill the guy with that, but... Thank you. Okay, so now... Come on. Just keep hitting me. Come at me, brah. You know you want to. Okay. I did not accomplish what I was trying to accomplish there. Which I should not have been trying to accomplish in the first place. It was very silly of me. This is not the enemy to try out that mechanic. The level 64 Revenant. And dual swords are kind of funny when they're not beating the ever-loving shit out of you. But then, you stop blocking for a second and they do a massive combo and just freaking obliterate you, so... There we go. Easy peasy. So we took that guy down, and hopefully we'll get some shiny objects out of that. We've taken this out. Taken everybody out upstairs. Can I blow through... This is what I should have done when I was up there. This is open from the other side, which is weird. Also, I saw... No, there was a Kodama over here. <clears throat> so let's go say hello to the Kodama. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Let's go somewhere slightly more favorable so you can make lots of loud, obnoxious music. That's what you want to do, right? 
That's your most deep secret wish. All right. Moving upstairs. So maybe I can drop down. Uh, so let's see here. Is there a cannon pointed in a place that... Where do you go? Okay, so that's just blowing that up. Did I open a door over there? It doesn't look like I opened anything. This shoots to here. We've already seen them shoot that. We've already seen them shoot this. So, with that being the case... Hmm. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Hey, there's a Kodama in here, too. So this is the third Kodama. That means that we found all the Kodama in this level already. Uh, I get So all these objects that I'm getting, most of it is actually loot. I haven't been checking my loot, really. Uh, but some of this stuff will be useful and most of it's trash. So it's basically, the loot system in this is very similar to, like, Diablo. Where it's just, like, completely random nonsense that, you know, has the potential to have ridiculously overpowered effects and has the potential to just be like, oh, well, this is just complete trash. So... It's very Diablo-style loot. Uh, but I haven't really been paying attention to my loot because I'm basically running around naked. I don't have a shirt on. I have pants and I have gloves. But... I thought I had already killed these guys, but... It's a little 56 with dual swords. I think I'm only gonna fight people over level 60 from now on. So there's a yokai here. I'm going to go ahead and just whiff. Because I'm cool like that. I was more scared of backtracking than I was of um, charging straight into his attack. There we go. It's a little 51, level 48. Well played, Mr. 48. Let's see. Have I done killed you before? Oh my god, you're level 67? I feel like I need to murder you, right? Let me let me take a look and see if there's a shrine up ahead, because I really do not want Hey, there's a doorway. Hey buddy. Who? who, who where? Doko? Eh? Whoa! Hey buddy! I mean you're basically like a human. You actually get hit stuff. Fine. And let's see here. So anything interesting in here? Oh, there's a doorway. Oh, this leads to the boss. Extreme distrust of this room. Okay. So. I don't want to go into this room right here. I think I'm going to go this way instead. Because I just realized that that's the direction the boss is. Interesting. You know, maybe it's the boss, maybe it's not. We'll find out. I feel like this is the boss. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to murder level 67, buddy. And then we will go after the boss, I guess. So we may or may not. We also need to make sure we don't let this asshole fall in the water. Because if he falls in the water, we don't get his shit. Come away from the water. Good boy. Also, throwing weapons in melee range is not necessarily optimal. Yeah, 
Yes. Oh. Okay, we knocked you on the ground, which is not quite what I had intended to do, but close enough for government work. This guy has a lot of stats because he's pretty high level. I don't know that he's actually any higher than I am, but let's see here. I should have probably been in there. Definitely need to go in here. Bye. Right. And there we go. So Nothing super interesting there. There's a lot of Warrior of the West stuff. Uh, are we ready for boss? I mean, no, not really. Is there seriously no shortcut for this? This, this zone doesn't have a shortcut in it? Why don't you have a shortcut, buddy? You're not a... Here, are you? No. There is a door there. That's super interesting. Is this the... This has to... This is the boss chamber. That area over there feels like it should be... A, uh, thing -er. And... You know what? Do we want to fight whatever the boss... I guess we're going to fight the boss. It's fine. It's not a big deal. If we die, we die. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my fire. And we'll pop into this shrine. See what's here. Search this. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. So we got a pair of shinobi here. Oh shit, I shouldn't have tried to do the thing. I whistled at the rock because I thought that it might be a uh, spirit. It was not though. So now I have to go back in there. Ugh, this is what happens when you suck at life. Okay, so we're gonna pop over here. Pop over here. Hey, buddy. Whoop. Hey, buddy. Shh, everything's fine. Oh, shit! I dodged off the cliff. Well, I just lost 60,000 Amrita. Which is quite a bit, actually. That's quite a bit of Amrita to lose, but it's fine. That's that's like well over a level right there. Uh, so, look, the spirits are not in my head. They are in the world. They're real things. They happen all over the place. You just don't even know because you're not cool enough for you to see them. Though I will say. Funnily enough, nobody else actually in the universe sees these spirits either, so... Hey, buddy. That was a cool fake out, actually. It looked like he was doing his big combo, but he wasn't. Oh good. I tagged his horn. 
Wait, is that it? That's the whole thing? Oh, well shit, I just lost like 60,000 for nothing. Ugh. Life is sad. Oh well, well. Life is sad and then you die. And then you come back to life and kill the thing that killed you and you're just very sad because it's actually pretty weak. That's a lot of souls to lose. It's so sad. It's a bat. Why does he have blonde hair here? He clearly has gray hair. So I I just got access to a bat familiar. That's not too bad. Also, all of the characters in this pretty much are actually real historical figures. So the guy who's talking about, ooh, even if my name will live in infamy for a thousand years, is probably a character that is not well fondly remembered by history. I think it's this guy. Kobayakawa Hideaki. My sword, you found it! My thanks, Sir Anjin. A warrior's sword is his life. No soul, what's that? A ninja yokai, you say? Wonders will never cease. Well, you are alive, and that's what matters. And Please take this sword as a token of my gratitude. I still have much to ask you. Hee <laughs> hee. So, Kingo's army. Armor, and... Yeah. Well, I was expecting it to be relatively weak. I wasn't expecting it to be too much. <laughs> Not even a good minute. Oh man, don't I know it. Those half minute men just making your life miserable. Well, not making your life much of anything if we're being honest. Alright, let's see. We've got two blacksmithing texts that we've handed over. We still don't have access to new Tonfa, but I think we actually did get a new Tonfa just now. Like a new Tonfa type. So, let's get rid of this, get rid of this. Yeah, so this is a new type. So this is a higher tier, it looks like. Man, that's a level 50. Holy shit. I wonder what level my weapon is now. Let's do a soul match on my weapon. And where is my weapon even? Is this the weapon I'm... Oh my god, this is the weapon I'm using right now. I'm using a level 32 weapon. And I have access to like level 50 weapons. You know, like slight upgrade here. Hey, Raven Tengu. Let's see. I'm also looking to keep an eye on something that life steals. Ooh, agility damage bonus. That's not bad. Oh, except this is a low level piece of crap. Uh, do I want to give myself the, this thing? I cannot afford the soul matching cost for this. I don't have enough money. So it looks like soul matching is going to be a huge expense. So here's a question. Should we continue on with the plot, or should we do something completely crazy and try to do a level 75 Twilight mission? That is our fundamental question for the day. So first of all, I should probably just equip a thinger here. Do the crazy thing? Okay, let's do the crazy thing then. Give me a second. I'm sorting by level here. The highest level. Yeah, this is a huge. 
he's a huge upgrade over what I've got for the most part. So we're going to equip this. Hopefully we'll find some really shiny objects here. Oh, well, never mind then. So I guess we can't do the crazy thing that I wanted to do. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could finish those emotes, you know. It's the thing you could do. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's see here. It's making full use of those naked night emotes. They are glorious. They are glorious. <laughs> I'm going to willfully misinterpret what you're saying there and say and assume that you're talking about my beautiful Cuisinart art, which was, in my opinion, the best emote that has ever been made. So thank you very much for your compliment that wasn't directed at me, but we're pretending. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So do I want to... Uh... Nope, that's the wrong button. Let's take a look and see if there's anything that's unlocked in Kyushu. I don't think anything is unlocked here. But, like... Uh, I don't think that... I'm not going to try to do the level 125 mission. Like, that would just be uh, silly. I don't think that'll be fun. Because I don't think that it'll... Basically, I'll start out completely unable to hurt things, and then I'll quickly become so overpowered by doing that that by just picking up the gear that I'm getting there, that uh, it'll remove all the challenge later. So the 75 is, I think, a good, like, thing to just putter with, but I don't think that going all the way to the 125 is going to be good. I like how he specifically says Osaka, but they translate it as a uh, thing. Uh, as it instead, and it's like, you didn't establish what your it was. Yeah, 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 Yasu. We're gonna meet him. Wait, if we haven't met Ieyasu Tokugawa, then we are clearly... We're not... We're not a samurai yet. Like, we're not... We're not bound to anybody, so we can't be a samurai. Okay. That was an extreme close-up. Nice. Hey! So cute. <laughs> this one has absolutely no power. Anzo, you seriously follow this pretentious little prick? He said more than that. <laughs> is so angry. <laughs> I love this. We can't be a ronin, because in order to be a ronin, you first have to become a samurai. Then you can become a ronin. Random dude with a sword running around is does, doesn't have a, a, a noble office, and without having a noble office of any sort, then you're just like, a criminal, right? You're just a criminal. Whereas, like, a ronin is kind of a pseudo-legal status. A ronin may or may not be legally in the right, depending on what they're doing and how they're doing things. <sighs> Spider Nest Castle. The Ogress. The Battle of Ohashi Bridge. I wonder what the Book of Reincarnation does. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the only consumables that we can use right now, which is uh, these hair. Give me, mm, let me eat all that delicious, delicious hair. And let's see here, anybody else? 
Didn't I find a young... Yeah, there's my young samurai locks. Delicious, delicious samurai hair. Uh, let's see here. So, I think we're done with all the stuff that we can do with Tonfa for now. You know what's really sad is that if I hadn't lost all that stuff, I would have had enough uh, to level up at the shrine to get to rank 10 and unlock the other thing. Uh, we're now in the third area. I'm going to check the dojo. It looks like we haven't unlocked the next way of the warrior. But basically in this area, all we're going to be focusing on is getting enough energy to get ourselves the Omnyo and then the ninja thing done. And it'll be fun. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say what's going on with this guy. Like, mechanically speaking, I don't know what his status would be. I think that he would just be like a mercenary. Like, he's just a Gaijin mercenary at this point. Um, which, the fact that he's a foreigner ha ent entitles him to certain levels of ability to ignore certain things. But it's hard to say. I do I do love all the guardian spirits that everyone has, though. It's just so cute. Like, the little bird. Like, the guy getting angry and then the bird going... Bee, 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 bee. That was great. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> Apparently, there's a cemetery in our domain that rings with the eerie sound of a woman crying every night. It has the locals terrified, and they ask me to do something about it. I don't suppose I could impose on you to investigate. Yeah, well, of course you can impose upon me to investigate. Are the doorknobs the answer? The doorknobs are 100% the answer. You have to whistle at every doorknob. It's fine. Do it. As war churns for the late and faith falters, ever more temples fall into decay, but the spiritual power inherent to the holy grounds can serve as a beacon to yokai and other evil spirits, transforming many abandoned temples into dens of malice. They don't believe me about the whistling at random objects, by the way. They think I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. I know what's going on. I know what's up. So you are level 58. Uh, uh, your name is in all caps, so I have to kill you. Actually, you're actually breaking through my guard pretty effectively. Look at that. This guy's actually breaking through my guard faster than I'm... Uh... Oh. So I can't actually just cheese this guy out. That's so cool. I have to actually like fight this guy. This is the first time I've had to fight like an actual humanoid enemy in so long, because I could just beat the crap out of them after I block for so long. Not a crazy person. I'm a sane person, and only a sane person would claim to be a sane person. That's how this works. Let's see here. So I can just open this door. There's a thing up there. Okay, you are. I wonder. Beaten to death by flying bolt. Cut down by flying bolt. Level 72, who froze to death. That's, uh, that's good to know about. So let's see if I can just cheese you out. I actually can just cheese you out. You're higher level than the other guy, but... Oh, I let my guard down for a second. Okay. Excuse you. You're not allowed to dodge. Middle then dual tachi. Yes. Yes, exactly. I'm whistling it in and they're not actually inanimate objects. They're fake. They're really tanuki. They're tanuki. And arahabaki. 
I'm not crazy, you're crazy! So we killed him. We are not really getting a lot of souls out of this. Level 53 is a no, is a no. Okay, fine. So we're gonna keep moving on. I didn't check before I came in here if there were any uh, players. Is there gonna be a guy over there? Ready for the concho, baby, tonight. I guess I probably should have targeted you, huh? Right. Farewell, let's see. Let's see, the farmer started. Yeah, look, the and the forest is where the tanuki hang out, man. I mean typically. I mean, sometimes sometimes they take the form of boxes because they want to troll me specifically because they have an, a vendetta against me. But it's fine because then you whistle at them and they give you shiny things. This seems like a bad idea. Okay, it turned out to be fine. Snuggles are very good. And I have it on good authority that if you don't give your dog enough snuggles, it decides to set everything on fire. And then it won't guard your corpse, which is, like, even worse. Level 67? Nice. I don't, don't want to fight you. Okay, not the bad asshole there. So how do I get to you? Oh my, what the fuck are you? Was that an umbrella? Is, uh, I don't know. I don't know what statement you're talking about. Oh my, Jesus! It is a living umbrella. Let's see. The fuck? Snigglers. It's fine. So we've aggroed this. I almost just killed myself there. Because I backtracked into a wall and I should have died from it. So, but I didn't, so we're all good. Nope, cannot. Okay, we're gonna pop over to you first. And of course there's a fucking fire dude behind me. Because of course there is. Oh my god, more fire guys! Where the fuck am I? Okay, we're fine, everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? We know exactly what we're doing. This is exactly according to plan. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No. Ow. Fuck. Don't you just hate it when you try to hit someone with your stick and then they set you on fire instead because their body is made out of fire and you're too close to them? Uh, let's see here. Hashtag relatable.
I find that enchanted swords that can talk or sing decide that they want to do so at the worst possible times. And then they get you killed. You're on like a stealth mission and then they just start singing. It's like, no! Stop singing! So it looks like we do have to keep going this way. Hey, Buddha. How's it going, Buddha? Doing good? Doing good. We all good. Oh! Concho! Oh shit. It's fine. Everything's fine. Hey, they're not police batons. They're just what police batons are based off of, basically. Let's see. So we got a dude there. Yokai over there. Okay. So, what's going to happen here is I'm probably going to die, but we're going to find out. Yeah, he's not uh, happy with me, so we're going to not keep whistling at that wall. And look, just because I whistled at the wall and it didn't open doesn't mean that the wall isn't actually secretly a spirit. It just doesn't want me to keep whistling at it. It's making it angry. And if I keep whistling at it, it's going to drop on my head and kill me. Because that's what walls do when they are spirit walls. Totally real and not imaginary thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, it's one of you. Okay, well, you're easy enough to deal with. Is there something behind me? There was not something behind me. I'm actually really surprised that that was an enemy that... Oh, God. So, ask and you shall receive, apparently. So we got a frickin' umbrella again. Look, walls have all sorts of emotions. This is Japan, everything is a god. Trade is better than just dying. Ha! Ha! See? I told you! I told you! There's a real spirit here! Look at that! Ha! And I killed it. Because I'm cool like that. So. Are you too many? At some point, I'm going to run into a Tanuki again, you guys. It's going to happen. There's going to be Tanuki. I, I, they're real things. I'm actually going to run into them. I'm not a crazy person. I just realized that I'm probably not even using the right weapon right now. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the top of my list. And this is... Where 
is my... So this is some low-level ones, I think. <laughs> you people just don't get how powerful the spirits are. It's fine. You're damn heretics. You're dang heretics. Who've been corrupted by the Western influences. That, that door opened on its own. That's generally not an optimal strategy. The door is alive. It is good that the dog is happy. Oh. Um. My dog might not be happy soon. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of friends. Hello. No, no, go away! No, no, stop burning me! Stop burning me and putting, setting me on water! It's fine, everything's fine. You move really fast, young lady. Oh shit, I just burned all my ant stamina. It's fine. Excuse you. Nope. Will you people stop existing, please? Okay. Okay, everything's fine. Why would it be fine? You're not down. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Nailed it. Snake man? And fit a buffer. Okay. Everything's fine. See? The spirits are real. I told you. <clears throat> told you it's all good. We got this. We nailed it. We cleared out that spirit. We cleared out the wall spirit too. I've got my eye on that wall spirit. I mean, if I whistle at a wall spirit, it's supposed to bow to me and then leave. It's not supposed to get angry red eyes. A yokai, I should have known. I hear that a lot of people are transformed into ghosts and yokai after death. It's the power of the worldly attachments and resentments. Perhaps the one you saw, too, was lamenting whatever it was that bound her to our world. Yes, I am a completely sane and normal human being. Well, not normal, because most people are, you know, crazy. Like, so I'm not normal. I'm just, like, better than normal, because, you know, I'm not crazy like them. No. No, 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 not at all. So do we have some jutsu that we want to put on... Oh, right, I never actually equipped my uh, new Omnio Jutsu, do I? I have nine points. Uh, I'm not going to use them, though, because I want to upgrade the things that I've got. Let's go to the shrine. Can I, re can I ready this? Yes, I can. So we're going to set this to down. And so now... <laughs> and now... We are ready to do what I was saying. Can I level up yet? No, I need 50 grand. I could start using some of these uh, soul items, but I'm not going to yet. So we've got Neo Stance, we've got a Book of Reincarnation. Let's do this. I find it hard to believe myself, but it seems a giant ghost has appeared at the Hohashi Bridge and is attacking those who cross and stealing their weapons. If it were a yokai, that would be one thing, but how can a ghost attack people? William, will you get to the bottom of this for me? Absolutely. I'm so good at this kind of thing. I'm well known, well known for my ability to handle ghosts, uh, sirens. Uh, I'm gonna walk away from the bridge. Let's go the opposite direction. That's always a good place to start. Breaking through. Oh my god, that is a lot of bodies. That is so many bodies. Are these bodies gonna aggro? Cut down by a revenant. This person drowned. Okay, we're gonna fight this revenant.
Oh, mistakes were made. And then, oh. Life is sad. <laughs> I actually have talismans. I, I do have I do have talismans. I have uh, a regen talisman, a talisman that boosts my damage, and uh, other stuff. So we're all good. We got this. Yeah, that was you know not my best showing ever. Okay. Wait, I can block bombs. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I should have. Okay. I can apparently just block bombs. So we cleared that guy out. Can we summon anybody else? 58, not interesting. Level 53, not interesting. Level 60, but... Oh, hey, 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 buddy. Hey, hey, how's it going? You look uh, friendly. There's a lot of people with friggin' Nodachi here. There's a, and they're all killed by revenants. Oh god, okay, that's that's a lot of friggin' damage. Oh, that so that's a normal thing. A lot of people have died on this bridge. Is that guy a remnant revenant? Is that why those people have all died to revenants? Or is it just that so many people have died on this bridge that everyone's fighting each other instead of fighting the boss? Cause all these people pretty much have been cut down by revenants. So is this guy a revenant? Oh shit. We're fine. I'm actually surprised that he's hit stunnable as much as he is. Oh! Whoa, 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 don't fall in the water. So does he have super armor now? Yes, he does. So he's not going to be interruptible right now. That's silly. Man. But we're fine. Okay. So he's not regenerating? Oh, you piece of shit. Is he regenerating? No. What the fuck does that do? He is hit stunnable now. So he, he actually blinked out of his... Okay, we're fine. You have a lot of HP, friend. This is definitely an endurance match. Oh shit! He caught me. Whew. He actually has a lot more HP than most of them do. Let's see. Hey Ash, how's it going? The bridge of yes, this bridge of death is now here by name the Death Bridge. Indeed. So here's a question. Do I have stuff for from this? Uh, no. Uh let's see here.
Actually, if I could set him on fire, that would really make my life a lot easier. There's no way I'm going to set him on fire. He has so much resistance. There's no way I can burn through his stamina bar that way. Regen is too too strong. I got him down to the red, but then I didn't actually get the additional hit necessary to hit stun him, so. Fire is not really helping me much here. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wow, I should have died there, but I didn't. Okay. So, now I just need to not get myself hit again, like a damn noob. What the fuck? Even. No. Bad. You piece of crap. How dare you, sir? How dare you summon ads? You're enough of an endurance match without summoning ads, you piece of crap. How dare you? Okay, so that means that I need to... Uh... Where's my body? My body's all the way in. Oh, that's actually a lot of damage. I might, I might uh, change up my strat here a bit. Oh, that actually hit his stamina by a lot too. Okay. I didn't think I was close enough to him to get hit by that, but. Yeah, I need to be in, in high stance to deal with this guy. I do so much more damage in this stance. Okay. I also need to be careful though, because my dodges are trash in this stance, so... He's actually positioning me well here. He's periodically getting me in really good uh, corners. Nice.
He's almost to phase two. So he's in phase two. Gotcha, Shit, that was not the attack that I thought it was. Okay. Whew. And yeah, up, up stance into my leap attack is really just like the hard counter of this guy. He does not handle that well. It takes so much damage from that. Whew. <sighs> uh, which cheese? Oh, oh, you mean like knocking him off the cliff or something like that? Which you presumably can do? Yeah, I, I would I would not try to do that deliberately, just because, I mean, like, I'm not using consumables. I'm not going to try to deliberately knock someone off a cliff. Uh, though, well, I will if it's funny. If it's if it's worth the lulls, then I might do it. But I, I wouldn't do it for, like, a boss fight, because even though it would be pretty funny to do it to a boss as well. Hmm, so that was it. This smells like the work of a man who came to this land in pursuit of you. The toy with even our greatest ancestors. Just how far will he go to make a fool of this country? William, on behalf of the land of the rising sun, I thank you. Did somebody come here to... What? Did somebody pursue me? Because I was pursuing someone else. Ah, so this allows me to reset my skills. If I want, which I don't. And we have enough to level up to rank 10 magic. This will allow us to complete the, uh, the second tier Omnio thing. And that'll be great. The flow of key around you. Your power seems greater than before. If you desire more power still, indulge me in a test of precisely where you currently stand and whether it is sufficient to teach you a new technique. Let's see if it's sufficient. Let's see if we have sufficient power. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the I wouldn't be able to actually do that anyway with regard with my restrictions because I'm not allowing myself to use any of the ranged weapons, so I can't shoot him in the head. So, Dazaifu Tenmangu Shrine was originally erected to placate an enraged spirit hell-bent on revenge, but that was long ago, and now its halls have been invaded by lawless rogues and ferocious yokai. Rumors abound of a particularly unsettling cry emanating from the vicinity at night. <clears throat> that is amusing, though. Like, being able to... So, uh, what am I doing? Oh, am I supposed to fight you? Okay. Oh. I'm supposed to fight you, but I have no weapons. Ouch. I mean, I could use these spells that I'm given, which I'm clearly obviously supposed to use. Oh, jeez. Hey, buddy. 
Uh, this is gonna take a while. Was I supposed to equip a weapon? Yes. Yes, I was. Okay. So that's the wrong weapon. It's fine. Don't worry about it. There we go. Don't worry about it. You have no reason to try to attack. It's fine. Uh, that's the wrong button. There we go. I have a weapon now. Hey, buddy. I know I'm not supposed to be killing you with weapons, but... You're not supposed to take out yokai with wooden swords, then what even is the point of your life? Nice. Uh, he fell over. Oh, shit. Umbrella! Just take the last bit with my hit, but that's nice. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I want to change up my gear at all? I don't think I need to. I, th I think this is the uh, most efficient way to handle this. I mean, the most efficient way to handle this is to actually use the spells that I'm given, but that's, I mean, that would... I mean, there's efficient and then there's efficient. Okay, so, oh, nice. So, the amount of HP that I deal to it in damage before it gets to the point where it switches over, uh, carries over. Also, how? Okay. I also don't know. This thing might die when it gets... No, it does not. So I don't know why he died so early last time. So he's totally gone here. Purge this off. Now, where's the fucking... Fucking umbrella, man. These umbrellas are terrifying, by the way. I'm reasonably sure that you can just block all their attacks, but, uh, let's see. Punching things to death with your fist while blinded and anchored to the ground because your back's so full of junk you're over and comfort. <laughs> uh, that's not, that's not inaccurate. Every, every component of that is individually accurate, as well as accurate as an overall collective but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Okay, so we took out the umbrella by just beating it to death too quickly for it to come out of here. Uh, let's see here. Is this the boss? Does it come with friends? Nope, wasn't paying enough attention to him. No, oh, that, that was silly of me. I was, I was trying to hit him with the effect, and I took way more hits there than I should have, because I'm like, I need to hit him three times to trigger this effect, and it's about to wear off. So that was just a really dumb play on my part. I think I'm too close to this guy for him to actually respond and come out, so... I might be able to just burn down the first... Uh, set of enemies like this. I don't know if that's going to consistently work against the uh, finger bomber there. The umbrella was not being hit stunned. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't know that was going to be a. It's so 
weird fighting like an actual proper enemy with like the dual swords because I don't have any practice with weapons that aren't Tonfa outside of fighting the uh, uh, the total randos so the dudes in the dojo and generally speaking the dojo enemies are a lot weaker than this And the dual weapons actually do not have great reach. The dual swords here, the reach feels like it should be better than the Tonfa, but they're actually... The reach itself is actually better, technically, in terms of the distance from my body that I can hit. But in terms of distance forward that I'm going to hit, I actually have worse reach on my actual attacks. Because my attacks... I don't move forward as much when I hit. So... I take less of a step forward with each attack, and so... Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. This guy might actually just kill me from attrition. Because at some point he's going to use his fucking tongue attack again, and I'm not going to be ready for it, and I'm going to get smacked by it because I'm a damn noob. And he's getting in really close before he attacks here. I don't know what the hell he's trying to do, but I guess he's trying to do that. Could you, like, do something that I can easily counter, please? Like a charge? Like a bull rush? Or, like, a tongue whip from a mile away, like where I'm already out of range by the time you start the attack. Come on, buddy. He does not want to do anything that I like. The key is that with my current... I don't know the attacks for this weapon. So... I'm basically just like, oh, well, with generic attack 01, with, like, no fucking reach, how do I kill you? And I'm sure that my left button there is a spell that will quite conveniently murder this guy. But, you know... Okay, we got... We got him tagged with one thing. Oh, fuck! It keeps happening! Why does this keep happening to me? It's almost as if... I'm consistently getting killed by the same attack over and over again like a damn noob! The funny thing is he's so close to dead... But I have no faith that I'm actually gonna kill him. Yeah, I repelled your familiar without even using any of the spells that you wanted me to use. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I took out your familiar with weapons that I'm completely unfamiliar with that are made out of wood. Because that's how I roll. It's Tyrant. Oh no, it is Tyrant. Uh, let's see. Let's see. The, the Rage umbra the Umbrella is great. Those umbrellas are amazing. That's such a great enemy type. So, we have unlocked the new level of mastery for our Onyo stuff. Which is great. That's a new set of abilities that we can utilize. Oh boy. Wonderful Saranj. The techniques of the Onyo act in on the myriad things in our world for uncanny powers, but they are for the purpose of maintaining balance between dark and light. You must not be tempted to use these powers for evil. We will meet again when the time is right. Ooh, Master Mage's Locks. Nice. Yes. 
I mean, she's probably a master mage, right? Did she just give me some of her hair as a reward? Because I think she might have just given me her hair as a reward. Like, her own hair as a reward. Which is a little creepy. Let's see. So this is not something I can do yet. This is going to be great. As soon as I get this, I'm going to be very happy. So anything that I cast on myself, cast instantly. That, that's amazing. So increase resistance to wind. That's boring. Uh, this is plus 100 versus Yokai Realm. Don't need that. So let's take a look at what passes I can get here. So don't need that. And I don't think the higher level versions of these are actually any better for me because I don't have to care. I have more than enough uh, thingers. Let's see, Guardian Spirit. What is this? This increases magic capacity, don't need that. Flying Sword, Key Blast, Hermit. Uh, leeching. This is this is kind of interesting. If I had the ability to lifesteal, then I would totally do this. Like this this to me sounds very sexy. Uh, we can get Divination, Pleiades. Acquired Amrita plus three. So we're going to go ahead and clear the, our way to this, because that's 3% passive boost, which is very good. Uh, health gain from elixirs, don't need it. Reduces damage from yokai by five. That's pretty good, but I mean, it's not that good. Earth stop. I'm basically looking for the things that give me passives that will apply all the time. So I can increase my resistance to various types of elements, which is eh, fine. I can reduce the jutsu cost for these things. This is so inappropriately named. I'm so sad. It's like, life seal? Oh, it's life seal, not life steal. They're just they're just trying to get my hopes up. That's what's going on here. Uh, do I want to spend the last thing here? Or do I want to keep what I've got going for now? I haven't used my carnage talisman yet. I think I'm gonna hold on to these for now. It's not life steal, it's life seal. So it basically uh, reduces the uh, enemy's stamina recovery or something silly like that. It's not really relevant compared to life steal, which is me draining the life out of my enemies, which is just glorious and amazing and that I want. But I can't have it because I can't have nice things. So catwalking scrolls. So we're going to be pumping this eventually. We're going to be pumping our dexterity so that we can get access to some of the stuff here. Oh, actually, do we have enough? I think we have enough to get the... No, I need to do the, the next mission. Once I complete the Way of the Ninja Adept, I can increase my running speed by 5% passively. Yeah, exactly. It's a freaking tease. Why would they do that to me? Why, why they do me like that, bro? Okay, so let's see here. One thing that I'm curious about is that I don't know, but it's easy to check. So, this it'll take nine samurai skill points to check this. But I can basically check, do I get the 100 life permanently? If I do, then I think... Do I want to just do you take this? I don't know if this applies with all weapons, or if it only applies with this weapon. Because, like, plus 100 life, is that plus 100 life when I have a axe equipped? Or is it plus 100 life all the time? Is this close combat damage increased by 10% against enemies with full life gauges while equipping a dual sword? Because it doesn't say that. And on the Tonfa, it specifically says when it's uh, using Tonfa. 
So, what image did you just link us, Ash? <laughs> did you just make that now? <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> well played. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So uh, I think I'm just going to take this because we're just going to see how it goes. And maybe it goes well for us and maybe it doesn't. And we won't have any way of knowing whether it's going well for us or not, which is kind of a silly way for me to do this, but it's fine. Because it would be very easy for me to test with the axe thing. But I don't really care about giving myself some extra HP because <laughs> that implies I'm getting hit. And if I'm getting hit, I might as well just die, because I'm a weak, pathetic fool. Uh... And there we go. So do I have anything to do? I should, I should check my equipment. So I haven't checked any of my equipment in a long time. I guess I checked my weapons at a certain point. We don't have a new thing here, right? Level 50 is pretty high level. So let's take a look. We've got a level 45 hat available to us that we can't actually use. Life recovery. Finished using a living weapon. That's boring. Let's see. If I have something that gives me... what I want here, it's probably going to be either a blue or purple effect would be my guess. Bonus for absorbing Amrita. I think that's relevant. So let's take a look at our torso items. Received elemental damage. No guard break critical. Change to defense. Change magic to defense. That's kind of cool. That doesn't keep me in there. Change defense spirit. Okay. So, if we go to the top of the list, we have what is basically just a higher level version of what we already have equipped here, which gives us uh, some more attack power. Attack and defense of touchy. 
What I really want is attack and defense with uh, Tonfa, which is actually a really powerful effect. Run speed plus 8%. Okay, we're going to equip this for now, then we will... This is a new baseline, because increasing my movement speed is huge. Okay, so fine. So we can scroll to the top of this. Everlasting Key, which does something. Yeah, it's not that interesting. There's a 29% chance that when I should run out of key, I don't, which is... Cool, but not what I want. This gives me more running speed as well, and it also reduces my thinger. Do, what is the Warrior of the West's set bonus? Damage reduction and Tiger Sprint, which is not interesting at all. So I don't need to have that. What was the thing that I need? It was movement speed, right? running speed. So this would give me less weight and increase my running speed even more. And then I might be able to actually equip a head item without going into the... Yes, I can. So I could equip this and look really silly. Or I could equip literally anything else and also look extremely silly. Uh, let's see here. This is Legendary Strategist's hat. It does give me Omri to earn, which is nice. Yeah, that's what I hear. I hear if you run fast enough, you actually phase through the enemy. So it's kind of like how the Flash can just run through walls because he's really fast. <clears throat> Let's see here. That's an actual thing that happens in a comic that I read. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm not going to wear a shirt because that's just silly. Uh... But we we can do is wear one of the let's see firearm damage. I'm not really that concerned about. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, we're going with the chef's hat. It's fine. It's fine. The chef's penis hat. We got we got this. It's no problem. No problem at all. This doesn't look silly. I should get that typer off. Here. No, <laughs> the typer increases the, the resources that I gain. It's too, it's too OP. <laughs> Let's see. I could also equip a, a different thinger for one of my lower level things, but these are both running speed. <laughs> we should do a vote in the chat. Who wants the diaper of power and who wants to purge the diaper of power? Let's see. Amrita earned... Uh, Equipment drop rate, and I'm ready to earn from Yokai, and Yokai equipment drop rate. Yes, please. So we're going to equip this. And then we will equip I'm ready to earn from Yokai, human equipment drop rate. Yeah, give me that. What is this on right now? So just human equipment right now, so let's go for this. Anything that's better than that? This is both equipment and human equipment, which is kind of cool. The diaper of holding. <laughs> A diaper of holding would be, uh, I feel like you're doing it wrong. Like, you're supposed to change the diaper, right? Like, you're not supposed to keep it. So now we're going to go do the spider nest, which is totally going to be a fun time for me. There are rumors of strange creatures attacking travelers in Shigisan. If they truly are yokai, Master Anjin's presence would be a great reassurance. Lord Tori, I will personally determine whether or not Master Anjin is worthy of our trust. What do you say, Master Anjin? Will you help? Of course. Of course. Spider Castle? Perfect. What could go wrong in there? Shigisan Castle is once home to Matsunaga Hisa Hisa Hisahide, the man who chose to revolt against Oda Nobunaga seemingly out of nowhere. Oda responded by waging one of the bloodiest and most horrific sieges in history. Now, though the castle lies in ruins, the grudges of those who lost their lives here, the hunger and thirst of its fallen soldiers suffered, the resentment they harbored towards those who deserted them, the suspicion they felt wondering which of their comrades had betrayed them, have attracted all manner of vile yokai. <laughs> My diaper brings all the cages in the yard. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck are you wearing? Yeah. Wearing the best frickin' outfit in human history. So who's on me? Let's just see. No, it's just them. At some point I'm going to get sick of this hat and I am going to remove it, but we're not there yet. And let's see. Nope, this. Oh, that looks incredibly pleasant. That looks very, very pleasant. Um, so can we go in a different direction? This isn't supposed to be the scattered day stream. I'm not supposed to be doing things that are scary. What is this bullshit? Though, to be fair, I did cut off the Scatter Day stream early, so... Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! There are actual enemies that spawn out of those. Fuck off. Okay. Well, they, in fact, fucked off and died. <laughs> Nobody bothered to tell them that that's not where that goes. Like, people... Like, oh yeah. Some some rando just told him, hey, you know, that that's a hat, you know. It's like, oh really? Okay, I'll wear it on my head. Yeah, could you like not exist, please? Thank you. Uh you know, I feel like killing it with fire right this particular second might be a problem. Because, see, this here that I'm standing on is highly flammable. He blew himself up with his famous tea wear. A lover? He's the eccentric one? He. Him. You're the one who's obsessed with his fucking tea wear, man. What the hell? Yeah, I just want them to burn when I'm not standing in them, is the thing. That's that's just the key there. Hey, buddy. Could you please stop existing? What the fuck just happened? Did you just birth a spider? Yes. Yes, you did. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Oh my god, it's all fine. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? This isn't fucking terrifying at all. No, nice. I have great aim. Nope. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. No, 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 no. Hey, everything's fine. We're fine. That's fine. No problem. Why are there more of you? It's supposed to be less of you, not more of you. What the? Where'd that one come from? No. 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 Olaf Pinjao. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. The little one that came out of nowhere and just spat on me. Oh god. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's a, that's a, you know that's fine. No, this is fine. This is this is totally fine. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Fine. We've got the diaper of power. We'll be fine here. This is all 120% above board and fine. And of course, you can detect me from a mile away. And of course, I can't hit you with my mid tier stuff, so. Oh, fail. Ah, fuck me. Why are you a piece of shit? Okay. <sighs> you know what? These assholes are probably gonna come after me. There. Oh, whoop. 
Let's see if I can just jump on this and kill it. No. Alright, this one of them? Yes. No! Bad. Look at this frickin' shit. Look at this! Look at this slow motion dodge rolls! Oh my god. Ugh, life is sad. Okay, well... Everything is fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? So we're gonna drop down. We're not gonna drop down. Yes, we are. Okay. So you're big enough to actually hit that way. So where the fuck is the other asshole coming from? If I can find... The other pieces of shit spider spawn death bullshit. Uh, have I mentioned I don't like spiders? <laughs> I know it comes as a massive surprise. Because it seems so much like I like spiders. It seems like I love spiders. But no, I actually do not at all. I, I hide it very well. Okay, you are an asshole. You are a good dog, huh? Let's go talk to our friend. Hey, buddy. You should really get away from here, because you do not want to get eaten by these spiders. I don't recommend it. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate our regen. Spooters are fine. Spiders are not. That's how this works. Okay, buddy. So, how are you? Are you asleep? Or are you just hiding? You're just hiding. There we go. So that's toast. So, that's for you. There we go. Spiders are friends exclusively to each other and to evil everywhere. Uh, spiders need to be banished from existence. I feel like calling spiders pest removal service is like calling someone who commits genocide like law enforcement because they happen to kill some people who are uh, criminals. One type of <laughs> dice. <laughs> the darkest blood is all the sarcophagi. Indeed. Indeed. These are the words of power. They are the words of power, indeed. Okay, so now I guess we have to fight that asshole. I don't think we can get away from around killing this asshole. Because we have to get up there at some point, but I don't think we can get there now. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be fine. Oh, what is it be fine? There's a fucking- there's a fucking web here! Oh god, okay, so certain areas of the map are, like, not navigable terrain. On the plus side, this spider is too big to cl climb up. So, that's great. And missing is 100% what I want to do with my life. Okay, I really don't want to see what that looks like when it hits. Plus side, they don't hit very hard. Oh fuck me, I'm dead. I'm not dead, yet. Yeah. 
You are deceased. Hero Gumi, Gumo Fragment. No, but no, you never understood the true value of things. That's not it, but you know, close enough. We're fine. Okay. Let's see. You want to ride one of these spiders into the battle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can do it. Let's see. <laughs> you can't have words of power unless you start to ramble incoherently. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Babies are actually very easy to deal with with uh, the Ninchaku. You can probably kill all of these at the same time. Yep. Get fucking racked, scrubs. So, we've got the most sad and pathetic shrine here in existence. That is fair. I mean, if you've got if you've got a spider mount, you can do all sorts of cool shit, like uh, set it on fire. You're in a good position to set it on fire. Uh, you're also in a good position to. Hey, is that a Kodama? What the fuck? Oh Jesus Christ! Excuse you. <laughs> I got distracted by the Kodama and it saved my life. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh oh. thank you, Kodama. Thank you for saving my life. Babies are actually very... Look, babies are really easy to deal with. I mean, usually. It varies somewhat. Ouch. Once you run out of stamina, buddy, you are in some deep doo doo. That was a really cool attack. I don't get an opportunity to use it that much. I actually accidentally use it more often than I deliberately use it, but it's a really fun attack. Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure what element purple is. I've seen it interpreted as lightning before, but I don't know if that's what it is. It didn't look like lightning when I saw things using it, but it's hard to say. It kind of seemed like some sort of corruption thing. Where the fuck are you? Piece of shit. Oh no, it's just a skeleton. We're fine. Unfortunately, the difference between bones and, like, chitin, they sound pretty similar. So... I have the unfortunate situation where, oh, you're already dead, where I'm now stuck hearing the bones of my enemies and thinking, oh shit, spider, when it's not even a spider. I'm getting scared for nothing. So it turns out I should have done this level yesterday, because then I'd be doing the appropriate thing. You are legit way too spidery sounding, so you need to be purged completely. So, there is a Kodama around here somewhere. I saw it. It's down there somewhere. So I guess we'll just pop down here. Do we want to pop down there yet? Is that a safe place for me to drop down? Hey! You see that in the distance there? That's the, That doesn't look like a friggin' spider at all. See? Look at that. And yes, I do have a bow. Unfortunately, it doesn't zoom in when I do that very much. Oh, and I can see there's a Kodama on my map. Oh, there's another Kodama over here. So guess what? You almost certainly are a spider. But let's see if I can uh, concho this guy first. Yep. Concho him. And again, that is really good against those things. 
mistakes were made. It didn't occur to me that he could just jump through the entire ceiling and then throw his axe down at me, because of course that makes sense. Uh, so, we're here. We have a long... Oh, jeez. These are going to be a lot harder to deal with. These babies are a lot harder to deal with when they're awake. I much prefer to kill sleeping babies. Oh, kill it! Yeah! Kill it with boulder! That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, jeez. I should have gotten hit there, and by extension, I should have died there. Fine. Oh, you're still alive. Excuse you. And there we go. So we're back here. Can I punch you? Yes, I can kill you without advertising my presence. So let's go ahead and poke you in the butt. you're talking about. No, that's totally normal. Everybody prefers to kill, ba kill babies in their sleep. They have a much harder time fighting back that way. <laughs> that is a totally normal sentiment that everyone has thought at one point in their lives. And if they say they haven't, then they are filthy liars and you shouldn't trust them ever again. Oh, is this another Kodama? Wow, we're, we got Kodamas for days, man. I forgot about this Kodama being here. Okay, uh, let's see here. I saw it on my map earlier, too. So, let's not jump off a cliff. We will instead uh, jump off a cliff. Then we have you. Sneaky peeky. This is the guy that I saw from over there. And we've got... I think I'm going to have to climb back... No, maybe not. I think I can probably just walk in here. Yeah. Yeah, I can just walk in. Oh, Jesus! Everything's fine. Why would it be fine? Fuck off. You please fuck off and die. Fuck off and die. Fuck off and die. Hey, he died instantly. That's what I like to see. Oh, okay. There we go, there we go. Kill the babies and the mama, kill them all. Kill the babies and the mama, and hey, you piece of shit. How's it going? You are a different color, aren't you? I love this place. This place makes me so happy. I'm so happy I'm playing a game that has these fucking spiders in it. Can we go back to the creepy game with the girl that is creepier than all the shit that you have to deal with in the game? Oh, that was silly. Yeah. Wait, is this a... This is a hot spring. Question mark? No. I thought, this, I thought that this was a... Uh, Kodama. I'm like, are there Kodama hanging out here? This is a hot spring? Why is there a hot spring here? What the fuck is this? Okay, so we can open this door. And that is interesting. This take us, takes, takes us back to the shrine. We're going the opposite direction of where we need to go, allegedly. Like, the boss is presumably in that castle up there. Uh, so... Considering that we are going the opposite direction of where we're supposed to go for the plot, that means we are going the right direction. According to Artole. And we're going to... It's to give all these... Fucking spiders. Hey, buddy. No. Oh, 
Oh shit. Ah, fuck me. <sighs> yeah, I needed to swap off of heavy. I can't move far enough with heavy. Ugh. Thanks for the gift sub, Ash. Well played. Now Christy can use the amazing, amazing artwork that I have created specifically for her use in this channel. And for everyone's use. But especially her, because as an artist, she will be the one who appreciates the most how beautiful my artwork is. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> nice. I'm legitimately surprised that you actually deigned to use that. Okay, so now I need to kill each of these individually. Oh wow, Ash is going on a spree here. Thanks for sharing the love, Ash. Hey, buddy. Okay, so we're not doing high because high is bad. Oh, fuck me. I aggroed one of them babies. Okay, baby's dead. Baby's dead, everything is fine. That's a grapple, I shouldn't be eating that. I can't block it. Oh, fuck me. Okay, we're fine, everything's fine. I just need to wait out the, the fucking thinger, and you should be hittable for a while. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Piece of shit, why don't you die? Piece of shit, why don't you die? Nope. <sighs> Does that mean that all that this guy ever saw was appearances as well? Because he also saw the same things that the other person saw? Yes. Yes. That is all of the naked knights. The power, by your power combined. We know. Oh, Jesus! Nope, 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 nope. It's a hard pass. It's a hard fucking pass. It's a hard fucking pass on your bullshit. So you can go ahead and die. The Cuisinart army. Indeed. Indeed. This is this is the stuff that I go against every day, and now you shall all join me. So my guess is that we're collecting the uh, keys to the castle here. That each of these fragments is used to get into the actual ca- That's big. That's a big distortion. No, it's fine. It's fine. We will help. Yes. Yes. Burn, burn the spiders. Speaking of burning the spiders, I should be using my fire talismans for these fucking assholes. That's a piece of sh Oh, God. Oh, fucking God. This is terrible. Yep, there you are, you piece of shit. I knew you'd be coming. So you know what? Kill it with fire is about to get more literal. And I, I have a limited amount of time. Where's the next asshole that needs to be killed with fire? There he is. Fuck. How dare you dodge the fire! Okay. There we go. See, not every attack has an ending uh, animation frame that will allow it to actually cleave into people like that, but that one does. So there's an Oni around the corner here. And can I burn this? Is there a fucking spider above me? <sighs> I hate everything about this. Everything about this. Except for the fact that I can set them on fire. Out outside of the setting them on fire thing, I hate this entire level. I mean, it's actually fine, like, in terms of, like, the level design is fine, everything's fine, except for the fact that it exists and it needs to die. The level ends. Also the spiders. Fuck right the hell out of here. Fuck off with that bullshit. 
Okay, who's on me? I think that was just one of the skeletons. Okay, we... I am legitimately tempted to pull out my fucking... Th I could just shoot this guy right now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to, but I could shoot him and instigate it and then never have to... Oh, there's, there's an archer there. Archer... Oh, jeez. How many did I aggro? Looks like I aggroed three. Okay. Oh, that was silly me. I mean, I knew that's a two-hit combo. There's no reason to do that. Okay, so... Oh, no, it looks like there's only the two. All right, well, we're fine then. For now. Right up until this thing aggroes. Is there a fucking spider in here? I can't turn the camera angle up because I'm locked in. Ugh. Fine. Hello. So you are actually outside, which means that there's almost certainly something right next to you. I'm waiting to make my life miserable. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. This is great karma, by the way, for the fact that I... I only did an hour and a half yesterday of actual uh, horror game, and then spent the rest of my time playing a game that I actually enjoy. So this is this is what we in the business call karma. Uh, karma is the entire basis by which this game exists, and so it is, I think, appropriate that okay, that it's a fucking hole. Is there a spider in it? As far as I can tell, there is not a, hole, a spider in this hole. I mean, it looks like there should be a spider in that hole, right? What's the shiny sound here? Oh, am I right next to my shrine? I guess I'm right next to my shrine again. So we've got this open. What the fuck is the purpose of that? It's a really weird shortcut, not gonna lie. A shortcut to what? Is that? Hey! I can see Kodama in there. So that means that we found that thing. I do not want to aggro you yet. Okay, let's. That's gonna be some gigantic fucking bullshit spider that needs to fucking be purged with flame. And okay, that was just me. Fine, it's fine, everything's fine. That's not the right button. I mean, it is the right button, it's just I'm in the wrong stance. I think that's actually a better one for the babies, though. Okay, everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Burn all the diapers and wear the spiders on our heads? Uh, no. That is vetoed. That is a hundred and seventy-two percent vetoed. Wait, did I just life steal? Did I just get a? Did I just get HP back? I don't have life steal in some sort, do I? I saw- I just saw green text when I attacked that thing. Huh. Okay, I'm actually- I forgot to check these. I don't know if spiders count as yokai or not. Are these yokai or are these just, like, monsters? Like, I don't know that a, t a corrupted spider necessarily is a yokai. I mean, it's not people. That would be pretty awesome, though, if they actually counted as people. Omnio damage life drain? That's interesting. So, that might seem like it's completely useless, right? But, and it probably is, because it's probably not going to apply to my weapon damage. But technically speaking, my weapon damage 
it is Omnio magic damage. Uh, the fire damage that I get out of it, anyway. So... Like, this is just a ninja. That's actually not a problem at all. As long as it's not a fucking spider. Alright, so... Hey, buddy. You seem to have assumed the position. Hey! The key to the gas castle gates! Cool beans. So we can enter the hot spring now if we want. Uh, there's not really a huge amount of reason to, considering that I'm about to go back to the thing, but that's fine. Let's strip down. And then hang out with some Kodama for a while. And then... Uh, we can wander back through this place. We can keep an eye on our map. And look at that, there's a yokai. Not a yokai. That other thing. There's a Kodama over here. It's on the other side of this, so it's got to be outside the building, I guess. How do we get there? Oh, fuck. Hey, buddy. Control! Oops, that was silly of me. There we go. That was way more aggressive than I should have been. Okay. And we have another thing out here. Is it gonna come with a fucking spider on the wall? It's like a spider directly fucking above me. Fucking spiders with bullshit Z axes and nonsense. You'll note that when the spiders get involved, I start cursing a hell of a lot more. Oh. <laughs> well, we're both equally skilled. He can whiff completely, and then I will follow it up with my own. Complete lack of skill. Okay, so that's done. That guy's not gonna respawn. So, hey, fucking bullshit piece of shit spider asshole. It's fine. It's fine. Where'd you get the idea that I was being overly aggressive and angry? I don't know what you're talking about. As I activate my carnage thing to boost my damage and reduce my defense, it's like. Fuck you! Fuck you, spiders! These spiders here. Filthy, filthy creatures. There's gotta be one. This fucking Something that, that... That Kodama is too visibly obvious. It's gotta be a trick. It's gotta be a trick. I, uh, that was a weird-looking chest. Okay, this chest is not a Tanuki, but there are Tanuki, they're real things, and they <laughs> pretend to be chests, and it's a real thing. Don't even talk shit, because it's totally a real thing. Okay. 66,652. It's not too shit. Asakura? Like, people seem to have, like, an association with some sort of, like, faction here. Which is kind of interesting to me. Because I don't know mechanically what that means. But I've noticed it with the uh, players. So, do we want to fight this yokai? Oh! Are you bigger than normal? Nah, you're probably the normal size. Are you gonna come to me? Apparently not. Uh, apparently, I'm also not gonna come to you, because I suck at life. Excuse you. No. No. That is a hell no. That is a... Oh, Jesus! Oh, God. Should not have survived that. Okay, but I did. It's all it's all fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Everything's fine. Poo boy. Hee hee hee. Hey buddy buddy. Hey hey. How's it going? Hey. 
It's all good. It's all good. I got this. We got this. We are awesome. You and I, we're gonna kill everything together. You and I, Mr. Regen thing. Yeah, okay. Let's blow up all the scarecrows. And, hey, let's not jump off that cliff. And. Oh, hey, buddy! Oh boy. Well, you know that's not gonna end well. Quickly, let's get all the children to the underground vault when there's a bunch of fucking evil spiders around. And of course the evil spiders weren't around at that point, I'm sure. I'm sure the evil spiders are the representation of all the mothers whose children were killed by Nobunaga or whatever, but you know, that's that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong going into this fucking mine full of ghosts and dead and... Hopefully not spider. You know what? Hopefully it's just... Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! That is a thing! Okay, that is a thing! Okay, it is fucking murder time. We're activating this. I don't even care. I should play it a little safe. I'm not gonna play it safe, though. You get fucking beaten in the ass. <laughs> Ash, your response is great. Oh, man. It's like, oh, maybe there won't be any fucking spiders in here. Nope. Okay, you pieces of shit. Okay, so here's a problem. Here's our serious problem. I don't know if I can get over there without triggering them. And if I trigger them, they're gonna potentially... See, I, I need to not have them jump directly on top of me. And I don't... I think I'm gonna die. You know what? Actually... I don't even care. Burn it with fire. Hey, pup. How's it going? Yeah, guess what? I'm fucking invincible, bitch. Okay, so, thank you, Pup, for your sacrifice, and now we will just do the normal bullshit. I was hoping to get to burn them with fire, but it's all fine. And this, by the way, you see, you see how I ate an attack that would have dealt, like, my entire HP bar's worth of damage? That is why I'm not allowed to use the dog, because it's OP as fuck. Okay. I mean, I can use the dog, just only on trivial stuff, or, I mean, there's sp there's spiders. Look, there's spiders. I think. I have full legitimacy in using spiders for that. Er, not spiders, and using a finger for that. Let's see. So, I'm gonna go ahead and individually punch each one of these corpses, because we're clearly playing, uh, what's that game called? Dead Space? Yeah, we're playing Dead Space right now. So what is this? Unnatural death. I wonder what the unnatural death was. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm on the Lady Train. This has to be... I think this is an NPC. I don't... I don't... I don't think this is a player. I mean, it could be. But I want to kill it just to... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Seriously? Oh, that should have blocked that. Um, oh, God, no. Now I have to go through those spiders again. No. Actually, did I even get a shrine? I didn't get a shrine out there, did I? Oh, boy. Uh, we have a long trip ahead of us right now. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, buddy. How's it going? Fucking die. Okay. There we go. You're like, yay! You died! Now I get to see all those same spiders again. Yay! 
Uh, let's see. Uh, you and I are no longer friends, and I hate you, and I despise you, and die forever. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. It's fine. It's fine. That's, that's all I wanted. There we go. Please fall off the cliff. Oh, or not. You know, it's fine. Why would I need you to fall off the cliff? Why would I need you to fall off? It would be nice, convenient, when I can actually fight you and apparently pick it up. There we go. And this piece of shit right here. Where are you? Oh, God. I can't use the thing. I can't use the pup. So how the fuck do I deal with you? Do I have a mechanism by which I can deal with these guys? Can I dodge past them? Let's find out. Yes! Okay. If there's only one, then I can just dodge past it. <laughs> Use the bow, it's okay. No. It's not okay. It's unacceptable. I can technically do this without the bow. I may die, but it'll be worth it. Okay, I'm using my speed jutsu. Ha 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 You cannot touch me, fools! I probably should have done that in like an actual mobile stance, but whatever. It worked. Oh boy. Nope. Stop being a douche and die for me. Oh good, yeah, just shoot that straight in the air. That's what I want. Die. Die, 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 die. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Okay, so you are going to Oh, you know what? You're gonna get conchoed. Indeed. Hey, we can always jump back into Classic and just do some PvP while we level. That is always a thing that we can do. Let's see. We need to set a time to do that. Okay. So let's open this. Okay. The unnatural death thing here really does give me reasons to be concerned. Yeah, unfor well, unfortunately, the naked mage is pretty much gone at this point, because, I mean, I have so much fiery wrath gear at this point. Oh, Jesus Christ. You are not hit stunned by fucking anything, are you, buddy? This is a really, uh, rough enemy, actually. Just because of the fact that, like... Even when they're out of stamina? I mean, they're not getting hit stunned by my attacks, so... I mean, I guess I could, you know... Actually dodge an attack. The madness of that. Everything is fine. She she does play WoW, and she should join us on Classic. Where actually we're playing on Alliance on Classic, aren't we? I'm a I'm a human or something, right? Right? Oh yeah, you should join us on on Classic. It's totally something you would be up your alley. We spend all of our time PvPing. We uh, have been in our thirties for the last several months. It's glorious and lovely. Oh right, and she's a furry, so we can't do anything without Morgan available. I forgot about that part. Let's see. <laughs> you could just pick a like a particularly hairy elf or something. They're basically like Morgan, right? Uh let's see here. You could be a druid.
It's so good. Like, legitimately speaking, I never go back and watch highlights of any of the shit that I do. I never watch any highlights. I just don't do it because it's, it's just not interesting to me to watch stuff that I've done in the past. Periodically, I'd say once every month or two, I actually go back and rewatch my highlights for the PvP stuff because it's just so fun. It's so good. It's so much fun. And, like, it's just so in- just thoroughly enjoyable to watch people die horribly. Not to mention all the stories that we have from, like... It's just it's just good. Everything plays out really well. Uh, excuse you. Could you trigger the ball, please? I want the ball to trigger. Fine. Don't get killed by the ball, then. Take one. Let's see here. Hmm. Apparently I missed something over there. Yes, we need. We definitely need to do that. That's fair. I mean, I, I love, how, by the way, how you're like, oh, we need to progress so that I can equip a new axe because I only have the frickin', like, corpse maker. I can't believe that we got the corpse maker, like, with three people. What were you... Th three levels lower than the ability you needed to be in order to actually equip it when we got that? Something like that? Oh, man. Frickin' Paladins are so OP. Oh, it's so good. So good. Okay. Uh, I think I can get over... I think getting over there is... A, yes, because there, there was a door that I couldn't open. So I think that that is something that I'm going to have to get later. Hey, buddy. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to pull you then. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice fireball. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. No. No. There we go. There we go. Okay, so take that out. Move on. But yeah, I want to get back into more PvP where it's like three versus six and shit like that because that's so much fun. I like PvP where it's like there's no stakes whatsoever because it's like, well, if we die, that's kind of to be expected considering how outperformed we are. But at the same time, it's like, but we can do this if we believe in our power. I think we are. Me and Ash are amazing at arenas. We do so good. We have always done amazingly well in arenas. We've, ne <laughs> we've never had arenas go badly for us. It's actually funny how bad we are at arenas, considering how good we are at basically everything else in that game. <laughs> like, I mean, sure, we have like a 97.8% win rate in arenas, but like, we have like a 207% win rate everywhere else. Let's see here. Uh, that's interesting. So I could drop myself off this cliff if I want. Seems like a great strategy to die. Weekly change shit. Uh, the brawls. The slightly moder uh, slightly modified battlegrounds. Bye bye. 
So this is gonna kick down? No. So where the fuck am I? Lovely, more spiders. Exactly. Oh god, we got another big one. There's a food brawl now? I think I was giving me the music like, oh, we're going toward the thing. I was like, nope, we're not. We're going the opposite direction. We're not going that way at all. Because spiders. Ooh, Master Samurai box. Is it weird that I read that as, does he not care for the lives of his followers and shit? Because <laughs> that is absolutely how I read that. Oh no, not a wheel. Anything but a wheel. Why are you giving me a wheel? Not a wheel. <laughs> Why? Fuck off. Oh, that's not how that's done. I hate the wheels so much. I hate them. I hate them. The wheels. The wheels are so evil. Ugh. The wheels are a piece of shit. Look at that. I'm on fire because I dodged his attack. This is a bullshit. shit. So look at that, we managed to get this guy down to less than halfway. Or rather, get him down to less than halfway to death. Let's see here. There we go. Knock yourself on the ground. Look at my HP. There's one rando. Yeah, these, these wheels just are, they just obliterate you. Because the thing is that their attack is basically them just, like, moving toward you. And they simultaneously do normal damage and they do um, elemental damage. Are, do you have, like, a spider directly above you? You do not. Okay. okay. So that one's toast. I mean, there's a Kodama that needs saving. I have no choice. Actually, the oh, buddy, buddy. These guys are in a totally different area, I think. I don't think those guys are going to come to me here. Which means that I completely wasted this fire, because I'm not going to use it for long enough to... There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, nope. They do come. Okay, I was thinking that that was a different place entirely. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, not right. Not right. Nope. Fuck off. Nope. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off with your bullshit right now. Nope. Fuck off with your bullshit. Fuck off with your bullshit. Fuck off with your bullshit right now. That's so piece of shit. Die, 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 I have never been more tempted to just fucking abuse the shit out of this dog than dealing with these goddamn spiders. And not even because they're hard. Because they're not actually that hard. It's just because they're fucking spiders. Alright. Okay, and uh, I think I've earned it. Die, 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 die. Come here, come here, you piece of shit. Now it's your time. Anybody else? Give me some chance to murder. Murder, 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 murder. Murder, murder, murder. 
Um, I don't know when is a good time to use low stance, really. So the, the three stances have different utility. Um, and the low stance is the mobility stance. Uh, but for the... Uh, for the Tonfa, I don't really like the attack pattern of the low stance. It's a very mobile stance, but I feel like it gets me a little too close to the enemies for me to be totally comfortable with. Just generally. And I overall... And it doesn't do very much damage. So my guess is that the low stance is probably for actually penetrating people's guard. If I had to guess, because I've actually... I think I've seen some enemies that really just obliterated my guard with the uh, low stance. So I think that low stance is basically for penetrating through people's guard as well as for dodging a lot of attacks and things like that. So it's for dodge and counter type strategies. Uh, but I actually really like the um, the attack pattern for the top for, for dodge and uh, moving in attacks. I kind of like it more because it has such it has such a ridiculously large range on it. Uh, like this attack, that is a long range for a Tonfa. And being able to use that attack, I can usually comfortably get it in and out of range. The issue is with these these big spiders, the big spiders are actually, their attack range is so long that my general strategy of doing this does not actually help because I'm still in reach. Uh, one dodge isn't getting me out. But yeah, different, you have different dodge rolls depending on what you're doing. So like, I can't do a double dodge roll in, in high stance. In mid stance, I can do a double dodge which gets me huge, huge range. And uh, lower stance, you can just fucking dodge for days, apparently. So they're, they have different utilities in terms of mobility because it also influences your movement speed. So I think you move faster uh, in low stance generally. But I haven't really used it much because I haven't run into a situation where I had to use it. Um, whereas high and medium stance, I have found plenty of opportunities where I basically am forced to swap between them because of the uh, mechanisms of the encounter. So there's a piece of shit spider up here. And that is dead. And we are going to search this, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be all fine. Is it break the wall here? No. Can I open you? No. There's a Kodama here. There's two Kodama here. So are they above me? There could be a Kodama Ah, yeah, this is probably it. Can I do this? Uh, that's a no. Okay. So no, that's not it. So it, it's probably above me. There's going to be probably a lot of vertical positioning in this one. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Hey, double kill. Well, double hair. But yeah, I have found that the Tonefa attack pattern is just so freaking useful. Like, I I don't usually like this kind of a weapon, um, because it's a very short-range weapon, and I don't, I'm not good at uh, certain elements, so short-range weapons that are fast are not really how I usually roll. I usually go with something really big so I can exploit uh, a particularly egregious, like, opening that the enemies have. That's how I usually uh, play these kinds of games. But in this one, like, I'm actually really enjoying it. Like, I'm, I'm really enjoying the uh, the fast pace. Because part of it depends on, like, I feel like the, the way that I would describe the difference between, like, this game and Dark Souls, to a degree, is that Dark Souls goes from the, like, classic horror school of control schemes 
where this control scheme is kind of out to get you. So your attacks are kind of clunky, like you're pretty slow, you don't have a lot of mobility, and like the game feels like it's actively working against you. Like the controls feel like they're working against you. And that's by design, that's intentional, right? It's supposed to be, if you make a mistake, there's nothing you are doing to recover. You are just dead, and you know that you're dead like a half a second or a full second before you die, right? Because it's like, oh, well, I launched this extremely slow attack, and now I'm going to die, right? Whereas in this one, it feels like you have much more room to uh, make mistakes and then recover from them, and the, the combat is much more fast-paced, but... Just in general, it feels like the game is working with you rather than working against you when it comes to controls. Like, I don't feel like every time I'm walking near a uh, cliff that the game wants me to fall off the cliff. I feel like it's, oh, well, if you're dumb and you fall off the cliff, then you fall off the cliff, but that's your own, that's your own damn fault if that happens. And it's not unfair in Dark Souls, in the sense that it is still your fault in Dark Souls if you fall off a cliff or whatever. It's just that... You're meant to. You, they are meant to get you occasionally. You are meant to occasionally have very bad things happen to you. Uh, <clears throat> they want you to suffer. And it comes down to the dynamic of like horror versus action. Because if you look at the old school uh, like horror games, they really do make an active effort. Oh wow, I'm actually getting some attack damage with this dex, that's nice. Um, the They do make an active effort to make controlling them feel uncomfortable and alien, so that it puts you ill at ease for uh, you're in the right headspace for the game, if you feel ill at ease. And I think that Dark Souls is I would hesitate to say all about, but a large portion of what Dark Souls is and what it means is the continual threat, the continual danger that bad things could happen at any moment and you could die, like, very suddenly. So, anyway, uh, whereas this one I feel like is more like, uh, hey, see, it's a tanuki, and that is actually his ball sack. No. <sighs> Nailed it. Yay, Tanuki. <laughs> wow, we said it at the same time, Nixon. The highest quality, Tama Tamahagane. Nice. So level 57. Yeah, that pouch thing that you saw that he was hovering with, that's actually its ball sack. Tanuki are weird creatures. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said they fly with their balls. Okay, so we've got the ability to grab you. Get the, the, the Kodama out of here. And now we're ready. That's funny. I wasn't actually expecting necessarily to run into a... Uh, a Kodama in here. Or sorry, not a Kodama, a uh, Tanuki. Because it's gone for so long without me running into a Tanuki that I was just like, maybe they only show up in the Twilight Realm. Right? Maybe they aren't going to show up in main missions. And then it's like, oh good, fine, finally, one showed up. Would you like to go to the Dark Realm? There is much danger. But the rewards could be worth it if you survive. <laughs> Anyone who gets that reference gets a cookie. Not a real cookie, though, because, you know. Not made out of cookies. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Whoop. Oh, boy. Oh, fail. Oh, jeez, there's somebody right behind me. Oh, boy. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey, buddy, hey, 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 it's fine. Hey, buddy. 
you might not want to walk straight into my combo. I mean, come on. Come on. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything is hundo 20% pure fine. There we go. I mean, I could hypothetically just, like, walk by these, but, I mean, <laughs> no. If you leave them alive, they will grow. And if they grow, they must die. Okay. Spiders are not allowed to survive here. Okay. Now that we've established that... Okay. Oh, this is the boss chamber. Probably, question mark. Why did it come in here? I haven't seen all the Kodama. Oh my god. Oh, lovely. It's a lady spider. What's up? So she was a geisha, question mark? Okay, her butt stopped glowing for a second. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you're you're guarding your butt? That's cool. That's super cool. She's guarding her butt. I don't think this is the actual boss. This, this is this can't be the actual boss. Whoa, 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 who the fuck? Okay, we're fine. For a second I thought I saw something I didn't want to see. I actually lost her shit right now. Okay. No, that's not how this is going to go, friend. So. Whoa, 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 friend, hey. Oh shit. Are you gonna fucking act like somebody who's broken, or are you gonna act like somebody who's not broken? Because I feel like you should act like somebody who's broken once I've broken your ass. And I find it more than slightly unacceptable. You're making short, quick work of this. <laughs> oh, life is good. Life is good. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do? Do I want to change anything? Yes, I need to go track down the Kodama. Because I haven't gotten all the Kodama here. So I'm going to track down some Kodama before I go back to her. I might be able to one-shot her on my next attempt. Uh, but we'll see. Gonna be a sneaky, 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 sneaky. Whew. Okay, I was sneaky enough. So, those assholes are rough. So, there is a shrine here. A shrine is not a Kodama. So, presumably, this path here that I kind of ignored before. Did you fall off, please? Thank you. 
Uh, this path that I ignored is probably where the uh, thing is. I don't like any of this. None of this. So, is this gonna break if I jump on it? Oh. Oh my god, you're level 77? Beaten to death by a spider. Uh huh. So, presumably, there's a spider in here. I can't actually turn my camera up that high. What's weird is there's an item here. Or there's a person here, but there's no item. It's kind of weird. Oh, there's a thing here. Hey, buddy. Bye. I believe you can't fly. So we've opened this. Wait, does, is this guy like defending this castle so that nobody can steal his teaware? Am I understanding the plot of this correctly? Because I feel like I might be misunderstanding because that sounds ridiculous. Oh, Jesus, I almost just killed myself. So, let's not kill ourselves. Have you considered jumping to your death? Oh, right! I'm in the wrong uh, finger. I should be in mid, not top. Uh, unfortunately... I don't know how big it is. Actually, you really do not do that much when I block. <sighs> There's a dude there! <laughs> There's a dude just standing there. He's just like, oh, by the way, uh, you didn't kill me. Hi. Hi. Good job killing the spider. On the plus side, this does mean that I now have the ability to uh, plow through things with my finger. I can use I can use the pup to say hello to some of these guys. Uh, should I use top stance for this? That was a mistake. Fine, everything's fine. Let's see. Okay, so what was I doing? I'm going back this way, question mark. Oh, there's another yeah, that pathway doesn't help me at all. So there's a dude here, yes. Hi. Hey, Gravity Master! I am the one who makes you plummet to your death. Hey, buddy. Should not have let myself get up by that. But... Ooh, right. And now I have the thing. So should I fight Oliver Queen? We're fighting Oliver Queen. This is level 77. Why do you have a gun? That's just dishonorable. Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay. Bye. 
Nice! Ooh, look at that. We just got four items off that asshole. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so, do we want to try to kill this thing? Could possibly go up there. Fuck, what are you doing? There we go. There we go. Not only do you die, you then fall off the cliff after you die, so I won't even have to look at your corpse. Isn't it great? I do like that for the most part, like, movement is pretty sticky, and you don't just casually fall off of cliffs. Like, the that spider, I think if it had, had its full natural movement, would have just jumped off the cliff. But the game basically hard limits the attack and prevents it from going off the cliff. I don't know if that happens with my attacks or not, but it definitely happens with enemies. And I think that that's nice, because, I don't know, I think that enemies throwing themselves off of cliffs is kind of fun. Uh, but... I don't know, I prefer to have them actually fight me. Let's see, we're fine. Um, so that's this area cleared. I don't see a Kodama around here. Which little guy? Oh, this guy? Yeah. The guy who just attacked me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's like hiding inside the body of the spider as it dies. He's a crap. Ugh. See. Hey, buddy. Oh, good job. Good job, that's how you do those hits. Good job, well played. Okay, good job. Keep moving on. Hey, there's a Kodama here. Or is there a shrine here? There's a Kodama here. Aha! Hello, Kodama! Okay, so that is not the final Kodama. We do have more of them. I just need to figure out where they are. Hey, is there gonna be... Face dude in here. Probably not, right? Yeah, I don't think there's a face dude in here. I'm gonna just go ahead and assume there's no face dude in here. No, not for any particular reason. Uh, I'm just gonna make that assumption. And I think it's a totally, totally 110% safe assumption that there's no wall dudes in the cave where a wall dude would make the most sense. And instead, I need to go out here somewhere. I don't know. Not in there, though. We don't need to go in there. It's fine. All right, you know what? Let's... Let's uh... Have we considered going to Shibuya? I hear Shibuya has uh, some problems with yokai thingy dealt with. Uh, yep. That's, that's what I hear. Okay, I guess we can go over here. I still haven't actually activated a way of getting back to this area, have I? Now that I think about it. I like how they break their own eggs. So I need to get up there. I'm pretty sure I saw Kodama up there. I just need to figure out how to get to there. Because I think that there was a door I couldn't open here. I can get up on top of this somehow. Okay, wait, let's go over here. Help me. I don't think...
No, I think it's fine, because as I swap up to here, he will swap weapon, which gives me time. So, the question here is, how do I get... Maybe that's just further back? Like, I've been thinking that it's further ahead of me, but maybe it's not ahead of me, maybe it's behind me. That's probably behind me. I think the pathway to get to there is through that way. Finito. So though, because I don't think I can get over there, can I? Yeah, I can't get over. Where the fuck? Is Where is that place? Because that's a huge section. That's a huge section that I haven't actually explored at all yet. And I found three things, but one of them was labeled four. So I somehow missed a section over here somewhere. That I supposedly can get to, but I don't know how to do it. And I can supposedly drop onto that somehow, but I guess I get there. So this is a way, this is a back pedaling area, so it's not going to be here. So it's not that way. So it is probably just that I need to go up here and turn left, question mark? the attack. Why would you dodge? Dummy. Oh, that's suboptimal. I, I have apparently learned from the Prometheus school of running away from things. Everything is fine. Everything is fine and dandy. Dandy. You're gonna die. Alright, and then I guess we can concho you. Oh, jeez, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, boy. Oh, nice. <laughs> I, was, I was too low for him to hit me with his tongue. So, when they go high, we go low. So, that's interesting. How the fuck do I get to you? Because there's no connectivity here. Like, clearly there's no connectivity here. That seems very obvious to me, that there's a chasm between these two areas. So, how the hell do I get to you? Wait, can I just drop off the back side of this? Nope. <sighs> Can't jump over there. I should be able to go this way, but I can't. Like, what? What's the purpose of this? I mean, I guess it's just to get this random object, but... I don't see any eyeballs on anything. Go, go, eh. 
조금의 Ladder to which roof? This ladder here to this roof here, you can't access yet. That's a that's a way back. You have to kick down the ladder from the top. So let's see. There's, there's not another ladder over there, is there? Because this one you can't use. That is the way back once you've already figured out how to get there. And... I mean, I don't see any connectivity elsewhere, but I think it just ha there has to be some way to get back to this side. Maybe I have to go through a cave or something. Because when I go up to the top of this, I have no indication whatsoever that at the top of this I've got connectivity back. It's like, look at this. How the fuck would I get to there from here? There doesn't look like there would be a way to get back to here. So anyway, I owe you. No one important. It's just there. Let's see. That's a great line, by the way. I love Reyna. So we're going up again. Go across to here. This does not help me. And luckily, I think I've murdered everything over here already, so... I haven't killed these again. I think this is the route. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, this doesn't look like it has a thing in it. I don't see a pathway here. So, I don't think I have to enter the castle to get over there. So that would indicate to me that I'm, I'm legitimately just missing something. There's not... Let's see. Since I'm since I'm here already, I think I'm going to uh, pop over to the Thingarabobber. Unfortunately, that does mean that I have to deal with the spiders over here. And apparently, fail at dealing with the spiders. Okay. So there's. One on the right side there. I guess I don't need to worry about that, though, because I can just go in here and bypass those assholes. There's still assholes over here, though, right? Okay, but you're not a meaningful asshole. Oh, actually, you're an archer asshole. Makes my life so much easier. Okay. So. We're just coming over here to get the, uh, thing of a bobber. Oh, hey, buddy. Done. And we can enter the hot spring. <sighs> Take off our diaper for a moment. But only for a moment, obviously. 
Okay, so that allows us to get to there. Got our hot spring. We can go back over here. There has to be a route. There has to be a route. Where is it? Where is the route? Uh, it, it it depends on the specific wall. So I think that some of the walls have a talisman, and some of them do not. But the walls are pretty obvious. They have eyeballs if they are actually a fake wall. But I haven't seen any eyeball walls around here, though. I could have been blind. I wasn't really looking for one here. Like, the, the most obvious thing would be to be able to just leap out of one of these watchtowers. Like, how the hell do I get to there? Because legit, I, th I feel like down there makes the most sense, but I don't see a route. I could see that being, like, a, a dead end off of that area. But I can also see it. Yeah, I can't walk on top of that wall. Uh, Nani. Nani kwae. So... That's not anything useful. I guess I can keep backtracking, but hey, 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 buddy. So we're all the way back at the entrance now. This is the very, very start. Is, when I find what I'm missing here, it is going to be a very, like... Oh. Well, I'm an idiot. Kind of moment. Like I guarantee it. This is definitely the end of a thing. So it's not. The, it's not the root in. It's definitely not the root in. So is the root in on this section or not? You know what it might be. There might be a cave in one of these houses. I might need to go into one of the buildings and fall through the floor. That's that's actually the most likely event. There's a, there's like a floor piece here that I can fall through or something. Hello, good. Except there, except there clearly is not. There's clearly not a part of the floor that I can. Take. But yeah, you can see that when I did that straight through the thing, it spawns them and doesn't kill them. The reason that this works is because at the bottom, it actually, there's more frames where the attack is considered to be able to do damage, which is why when I jumped on the Berserker guy and missed him, and then he took a step forward, I hit him after I had already missed the attack. Because there's a little bit of an ending uh, frame where you can actually still hit with it, which is kind of funny. Uh, let's see here. But what it, the consequence there is that it allows you to hit something that doesn't exist at first, and then it spawns into the attack. Let's see. can't just, like, roll onto you. I feel like this is the way back, not the way forward. There's no way that I, I can't get across there. That's not, a, that's not a mechanic that exists. You can't jump two feet. 
can't climb that ladder that's obviously within reach for me to grab. So, how do I get to you? This is the first time that I've actually run into this problem in this game. Actually, like, I don't think that I've ever run into a problem where I'm like, oh, I have no idea how to get where I need to go. Legit. First time. Thing that I can think of is that it's actually gotten to all the way over here. So either there's a cave network that I can access here, or it's the same cave network that I had access to before, and there's a, there's a way in through there. So... That is my current working theory, is that somehow I have to get into a cave around here. This led to a big spider. This big spider was relevant uh, because it gives me the thing. So this area, this section, had a clear-cut purpose. I understand why it exists, I understand why I was here. Now that I think about it, that cave, I don't know that I had a clearly established purpose in that cave. So maybe the cave does lead to that other section. Because I there was an area of the cave that I could not access. That's, by the way, what the low uh, stance looks like. So... Okay. So... So what does this look like? Oh, that's cool looking. Not terribly useful for this, but cool looking. these out all set no problem okay do we have an eyeball buddy around here somewhere that's my guess is that i probably missed an eyeball buddy around here somebody suffered an unnatural death here so yeah you can clearly see that there is a cave network that's around here with fucking spiders, because of course there's fucking spiders everywhere. And where do I go? Let's see. And there's a Kodama over there. On the other side of this wall somewhere. I did not think that was an actual thing, but I just wanted to make sure. It's my... There, I mean, there's like a weird... So this is the obvious entrance. Is there a non-obvious entrance into this? I need to be at a slightly higher elevation, but not very much higher. Let's go back into this big house over here, because this, this big house led us... We killed a big spider here. That was before this door, right? But have we actually been on this side? I don't know if we've gone through that side. Buddy. Up. 
spot, spider taunting me or something? What's going on here? Did I go out here? I think I did. That looks familiar. This is a perfect opportunity to have an eyeball wall. Let's see. This is a perfect opportunity for a lot of things. So this building here, is there a buddy in it? There's a chest here. Can't go in. Ooh, there's a ramp here. Interesting. I do not see any eyes on this wall. That would be an obvious choice. There's an Oni here. These things have a lot of HP now. Let's see. This goes back out. on the ceiling or anything. Okay. So you're done. And now we can figure out... <laughs> did you figure it out or did you Google it? Because if you figured it out, that implies that it's something around where I am right now. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So here's here's a question. Did it auto-complete straight into it as soon as you started to look for what you were looking for? As if it was something that has been Googled a thousand times before? Let's see. Because that's, that's the real test. Is it something where... Yeah. So that implies to me that I'm missing something really obvious. But yeah, if I, if I end up having to fuck around for too much longer here, it's going to be boring. So um, I'll ask for help if I need it. Because uh, I, I, I do think that I've probably missed something obvious. Uh, you can you can tell me whether it's obvious or not, and it's a big thing that I've just am really dumb and missed, or if it's like, basically, oh, well, this is actually some hidden path that is impossible to see. Like, that's, I'm on board with that, 100%. It's obvious if you see it. Oh, well, that's, that's very useful. Let's see here. So... My guess, honestly, is that it's probably one of those walls, and that I just haven't seen it yet. One of the issues with the way that I've been traveling around here is that I'm not supposed to drop down this fucking pit, am I? This looks like a lethal drop. Okay. If this pit here that I saw at the beginning and then promptly ignored, if this is it, then tell me. Because that looks like a lethal drop to me, and I don't want to drop down to my death. Unless that's actually what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So this looks like a lethal drop, and I think under normal circumstances, even with this here, it still would have been a lethal drop. Okay. Well, this is a this is a fine. How do you do? This is exactly how I want to be spending my day. Okay, so, purge all the spiders, one by one, and this thing is going to completely ignore as I purge all the babies. What the fuck are you? Are you, are you a boy I need to kill? Because you have, like, glowing red eyes. Okay, we're fine. Fail, fail, fail. But yeah, one thing that I actually like that about the way that the stamina system handle this is completely random aside, but one of the things that I really like about the stamina system is I actually like the fact that I will run people almost completely out of stamina. And even with them completely out of stamina, there's actually a lot of roots to avoid being, like, killed by me. Even one, like, they, they can do effective dodge rolls to prevent me from actually finishing off their stamina gauge. And I actually really like that mechanically. It kind of sucks for me when it's happening, but I like the mechanic there. It makes me happy. So there's a dude right there. There might be a dude right above me here that'll just drop down on my on me. Let's see here. But yeah, I, sh I should have remembered this, because I actually did see and comment on it earlier. Do we want to uh, risk this? God damn you. That was totally close enough that you should have done that. Are you fucking kidding me? Excuse you. Okay, well, it's puppy time. I don't actually know if it would have been possible to trigger that thing without a ranged weapon. Because the, the strategy you're supposed to use there is you're just supposed to shoot it, right? If you see the thing, you shoot it. But, um, the, uh, and I think it's a little cheesy. For me to, to use the instigate for that, and I don't want to use the the I don't want to use the the puppy for that if I can avoid it. But that one looked to me like it only activates if you get so deep in that you wouldn't be able to actually get back out. Like I think it waits for you to get on top of the item itself, and that's too deep. You're you're gonna get hit. I don't think you can dodge out of that. So the there is only one solution to that one, and that is to uh, basically. Uh, to eat it. <laughs> so. There you go. Oh, nice. Oh, that was silly of me. Okay. Nope, that's not right. There we go, we got the Yari Ori Hammer. We do not actually have the ability to oh, cast a regen again. <laughs> Let's just go right back to where the spider was. At some point I'm going to die from that. If I have to go to a shrine, I'm going to run into that cave accidentally and kill myself. It's going to be really funny. I'm going to rage, but it's going to be funny. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I'm not going to rage so much as I'm going to scream like a weak, pathetic fool. And it's going to be great. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a there's an actual yokai here. Hey, there's a Kodama. Okay, I need to save you from yourself, friend. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's get out of here. Look, I wasn't trying to kill you. I was 
dealing with the fucking spiders that you are hanging out with way too comfortably. So that is not the only Kodama that we're missing. Shocking right now. Okay, this thing needs to come down. I need you to come down, friend. Can I hit you? You are dead. Oh, it's one of these. So this is one of the big spiders. We don't want to aggro it yet. We want to go over here first. If I can figure out... A strat for dealing with you. Oh boy. Hey, buddy. Oh god, that is a lot of little ones. Okay, let's go this way. Let's see if we can split them up. And... That's a no. And the little one is not even dead from a single hit. This crap. Why are you not one shot of it? Okay. For the win. So that's fragment three. True beauty of the hero gleam. So that kind of implies that that spirit that I just killed, that that oni, was actually a person. That giant fucking spider was a person? Like, I thought that this was just like a corrupted spider, but these are clearly, like, not. Okay, so that's great. Okay, you're dead. You did not die because I didn't hit you right. And you are going to be a douche. There's another douche over there. And... Douches over here. Nope. Ugh. Everything about this place. It's just maximal hatred for me right now. Okay, you are toast. Okay, there's an item over there that I'm gonna have to get, I guess. I don't think... I think I can just go past this one. And fuck my life, he didn't trigger. Well, fuck sticks. <laughs> yeah, I figured that the that was what they were talking about. I'm just I'm just interested by the fact that it's like, oh, well, these are... Oh, actually, you are really well hidden, asshole. You are a piece of shit, aren't you? All right, you know what? These guys are assholes. And I have my fire. So I could use my fire. What the fuck was that? that was weird. It looked like the spider had actually dropped down. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, aggro this without having things go to shit. And we'll see how it goes. And it looks like we... Okay, well... Oh, Jesus! The other one spawned too! Okay, hey buddy. we don't have to come back through this way. That thing did land on me, which is good, question mark. But yeah, I... Because of the fact that it hits multiple times, it actually purged through my 
there. And still hit me. I actually just realized that I don't have a convenient exit. Like, I can't even use this as an exit. So I have to actually get all the way to the other side, probably. Oh, fuck me. I can't see. Is there a thing up there? There's gotta be, right? I'm in the wrong stance. God damn it. Okay, so... There isn't a thing here. If I, ag if I take this, we'll... Nope. Alright, well, I'm gonna ignore that spider. Nothing really I can do about him. If he doesn't, if he doesn't aggro on me, then what am I gonna do, right? So this is a ladder leading up. If there's a guy at the top of this fucking ladder that just fucking kills me instantly, I will be very, very upset. I will be moderately upset. Probably mostly amused. It depends on what kind of enemy he dropped. Uh, let's see. Alright, so I think we're in that section that we were in before. And here we go. So, we can activate this ladder. Once we've got this ladder active, then we never have to go in that goddamn cave again. Oof. Oh, boy. So, we're all set here. Oh, hey, buddy. Nice try. And let's see. Nice try. You tried. You tried your hardest, and then you died. Am I using the right weapon? Which of these weapons is which? How am I supposed to tell the difference? I guess... Yeah, this should be the right one, because I think I'm using some random piece of crap right now. Okay. This is super shady, super suspicious. There's got to be something waiting for me on the left side here, right? Oh, hey, buddy. I don't know where you came from. Okay. I was so busy looking at different directions that I didn't see the guy who was literally right in front of me. So, I'm healing when I do that. Why am I healing when I do that move? Look at that. I'm life-stealing. But why am I life stealing with that? Why is that? Why? What? Why? Why is that move causing me to life steal? I'm definitely life stealing off of that move specifically, and not my other moves. It might be. I'll I'll take a look at my gear in a second. Do I have something that makes me life steal when I kill? Something? No, because I wasn't killing the other guy. I love that jump attack. It makes me very happy. So this is. Oh wait, this is. Am I using the ebony tonfa? Am I using the wrong thing? I think I am. So that that skill is actually causing me to life steal now. It's it's definitely it's definitely using skills. Okay, so uh, fun fact, um, I'm using. My level 31 piece of shit instead of my, like, actual high-level gear, which is why everything is taking an eternity and a half to kill. So, nailed it? Right. So, moving right along. So, we have to kill this guy, it looks like. So, you know what? I'm gonna activate this. I'm gonna activate this, because who needs defense, am I right? And then... <laughs> you certainly don't need defense when you hit that frickin' hard. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that damage. Oh, man. Oh, thank you, Cabbage Foot. Uh, let's see. So there's another one of these things. Interesting. Hey, buddy. Oh, shit, you got it. 
not use a pole arm oh my god look at that look at that damage jeez that stamina bar drain that was silly of me Everything is totally fine. Everything is fine. Oh, it's you. Hey, buddy. Okay, you need to die. Yeah, so that guy's toast. He didn't even summon anything, actually, so that's convenient. So I think that's why these things were aggroing. Uh, oh, my. Okay, we're going to go ahead and walk back out here. And, oops, how great would it be if I walked on that and then a uh, spider came out and just killed me while I was trying to walk back to the shrine? I'd be very amused. So we're going to go ahead and pray here. This is going to respawn basically every enemy in the entire level because we've cleared through like 89.7% of the level. So how much I'm, I'm readable I earn from this crap? Uh, almost none. So I'm not going to worry about that. Instead, we're going to just work our way back to where that boss is. And we will take it out. Obviously, there's a castle up here to kill. Friends as well. And normally, when I'm going back and backtracking and stuff like that, I don't usually kill things if I can avoid it, but in this case, if I see an enemy, I'm just gonna have to fucking die because it's gonna be a goddamn spider in Jesus Christ. Okay, we can get down, 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 down. God damn it. Okay. Like I said. So I took way more damage there than I needed to. Are you still in range? Oh, Jesus. This is, uh. worse than I expected. Okay, the summoner dude's gone, right? Yeah, summoner dude does not stick around. So Summoner Dude's down, but there is a spider here. Combo you to death. And I guess fighting this big spider should be a hell of a lot easier now that I've got the fucking thing. Can I get the Kodama? Hey, we got all the Kodamas! Excuse you, by the way. How do I trigger you to come out? Okay, even murdering all the babies that are right below you didn't cause you to come out? Do I have to shoot you or something? Um... Am I going to break the rules? Or am I going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... See if I can trigger this to just jump on top of me. And that's a no. I, I, we have to break the rules then. We're going to have to shoot this thing. So in order to trigger this, I think I just have to shoot it. So we're going to wait out the uh, this effect, and then we will just shoot this thing, and that'll trigger it, I think. So it's not a big deal, because I don't think it'll even cause damage. It just triggers the thing to spawn. Alright, so we just got an achievement for that.
I'm not gonna lie, I'm not following what's going on at all. I have no fucking clue what's, what's happening with this. <laughs> so I picked up five pieces of a spirit. And... So that's a thing that happened. I don't, I don't know what the spirit is, I don't know whose spirit it is, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to, uh... Actually, never mind. I'm about to get to another shrine, so I'll just kill something along the way, I guess. Hey, hey, speaking of killing something along the way. I need a double kill. That's a good one. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey, he actually dodged it. Like, I was thinking he was trying to dodge one of my attacks or something the last time, but no, I think he was actually legitimately dodging the boulder. Which is pretty cool. So, oh god! Yes, let's dodge straight into his foot. Uh, that's exactly where I need to be. Exactly where I want to be. And up here, we're going to have a fun time with a prayer. Can level up. And dex 10. We've got dex 10. We can now do the ninja mission. It's going to be great. I'm happy for that. And next, we can say hello to you, and then say goodbye to you, because you can fuck right the hell off. Okay, and you are a shrine. Okay, so here we are, and there's no reason to go up that ladder, I don't think. I don't think that's the route that I need. So, anything else that I need to do uh, before I go after the boss? And clearly, we're going to one-shot this boss. It's going to be great. Uh, it's going to be a thing. It's not going to be a thing. Don't believe me when I tell you things, because I'm a filthy liar. Uh, let's see. Let's see if that one damage. We can go ahead and use that. And... This is level 51 Uchi Katana. So this is interesting, actually. Strong attack, key reduction. Mid-attack damage is pretty good. Damage toward one-eyed Oni is reduced. What's my current weapon? Close combat, key reduction, critical. Both of these are only when I'm almost dead, so there's really no reason to keep this equipped, I don't think. So we're gonna pop the, to this. This does mid-attack damage, strong attack, key reduction, which is nice. And this is mid-attack break, which is kinda nice. Oh, this is a mid-stance break. Interesting. So that's good. That's good. Equipment weight... Damage bonus C minus. Okay, this actually reduces the key usage of strong attack, which is not actually that interesting. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this one. I'm actually gonna equip it with the other one though. I don't think I need the life steal right now. I would love to actually pump up the other one though. So we're gonna equip both of these. And then, how do I know which one I've got equipped? Okay, gotcha. Blue, you can barely see it, but blue is the background color for this. So I need to be on blue. We are on blue, so that's good. And I'm actually going to uh, poke you in the butt. Because now I don't have any familiarity bonus with any of my weapons. Well, I'm glad you're hyped for the fight, because it's clearly going to end very well for me. Everything's going to go great. You'll see. I know what I'm doing. Oh, whoops, I'm still in. Still in high stance. Okay, there's a spider right here. Peek -boo. Peek -boo. And 
that is dead, and unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a really fast route to the boss. Like, I have to kill my way through a couple of things to get to the boss. So, boss fight. Uh, I actually am going to check my equipment as well. We have this. Yeah, fuck it, I'm not, don't worry about that. It's armor. Who even needs armor? Oops, that was... I guess I'm not going to be pulling her out of that while she's in there. That was silly, mate. Oh! 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 Oh, shit! Yeah, you better hide. You hide that butt of yours. Okay. I mean, I'm standing right behind you, lady. You probably don't want to... That's not good. Oh boy, that's very not good. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I mean, I got the fragments of your broken self. I brought them to you, and then you tried to murder me. Whew. So yeah, you know, easy peasy, no problem. Actually, that boss was pretty easy. The boss transitions into that phase where it just blocks its butt, and it's completely... What the hell? Don't drink the tea, don't drink the tea, don't drink the tea. The tea is actually spider jizz, don't drink the tea. Mountain Dew though, you do do drink too. Actually that, that tea actually kind of looks like Mountain Dew, not gonna lie. Whoa! Nobunaga was a long time ago at this point, right? So is that guy the fucking sp- Did I just get possessed by that dude? Because I think that guy just possessed me via T. Like, that was legitimately, like, spider juice. Like, le legit. I think that drinking the tea is what has gotten me infested with a spider. Uh, so. God damn it. So, if Master Naomaso 
recognizes you, so too do I. Lord Ieyasu has departed Edo in a campaign to destroy Uesugi. He should just be arriving at Kyoto right about now. I suggest you go there and join him. Hanzo, you'll forgive me if I choose not to accompany Sir Anjin. My heart simply couldn't take it. As they say, the clever avoid danger. Online PvP mode has been added. Hey! What the, what the, so, the, that's... Wait, the hidden tea house is that dude? What the fuck is the hidden tea... This tea room is my pride and joy, a place that straddles our realm and the other world, but I suspect you have realized that already. I hear you've taken to playing at being a warrior, but a warrior fights not for himself. His efforts are all for the good of a clan. Perhaps it's time you joined one too. So I can join a clan. The show clan, hey. The show clan has increases hack and defense with Tonfa. The pick the one that slides spiders. Is there a spider based? Doesn't look like it. I don't see a spider based one. So Oda, so this is Nobunaga's stuff. This gives me damage nullified with leveling weapon, which is boring. That's boring. Omrita and money. Hey, the Toyotomi clan. Yeah, greed. Full greed. So donate spear for Fanger. Close attack with spear. Boring. Living weapon. No. Kusurigama. No. Evasion attack boost. Oh, that's kind of cool. Familiarity bonus is pretty. Ah, oh, this is actually pretty nice. Uh, close combat enemy with status ailment. That's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't fit my current strategy, but... Ally Amrita Gage bonus. Interesting. Yokai close combat with sword. Nope. <clears throat> Camp about to fall. Close combat damage, status enhancements. Oh. Lightning damage. Nope. Damage halved at full life. Oh, that's very cool. I like this. <laughs> well played, Christy. Well played. No key consumption with guarding 33%. Online ally recovery death. Close combat attack. Red demon armor. Status it was really boring. And gun. Durability of living weapons. Boo. Online damage absorption purification. Close combat. Zero key enemy. Life bonus with allies camps, close combat with an axe, nope. Close combat critical enemy, eh. Damage, status ailments. This is actually potentially better than it looks, because this would be... I, I don't know if it works on bosses, though. Like, I actually don't know if this works on bosses. If it works on bosses, then that would be really useful, because the bosses have a tendency to get escalate in severity the more further down you get them. But... Let's see here. Donate armor of rare or better. So damage to the one's boring. Any blindness extended. Oh, you can blind to enemies? Let's see. Luck plus 40. <coughs> Excuse me. I like it. I like it. Uh, let's see. Luck pirate armor. I think you have to have pirate armor but. High stance attack, barehanded attack, and oh wow, seventy percent increase to barehanded attack. I'm I'm only vaguely looking at the donations. I am glancing at them, but I'm not paying that close of attention to those. I saw one that actually looked really strong, which was over here somewhere, but I don't remember what it was. Uh, change to life stamina attack, blah blah blah. Omnio magic power, nope. Uh, close combat purification. Does that mean that? After you perform a purification, you get a 23% boost to Thanger. That's pretty sexy. Uh, 
close combat attack. Oh, this is cool for counters. Increased attack, life recovery from purification. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse me. That's god tier. That's god tier right there. That on its own is just like ludicrously OP. Uh, let's see. High stance attack, strong attacks. Close combat. Hey, increased mission rewards. This is pretty cool. You life steal anytime you kill somebody. Increase damage, consecutive attacks. The the issue with this is that the rewards are kind of trash. I don't really care about money that very much. I'm tempted to do this. I'm just gonna do this. Clans you are allied with are managed by the player account. You cannot change your allegiance offline. Okay. Faux show. Also, this gives us the ability to do cool stuff. So, clan battle information is being updated. Cool. So, trade glory for items. So I can trade the glory that I've obtained, because I've obtained quite a lot of it already. I can change into other people. Interesting. Ginchio is very expensive. Let's see. So this is... Interesting. So, what does that do? So, it looks like there's clan battles. So, this is all uh, vaguely interesting, but I'm probably not going to be doing too <laughs> so silly looking. So I can donate Tonfa to receive a shit ton of money, so I might as well do that. Is this, uh, no, I need a crappy Tonfa. So this gives me... So it looks like I have to donate a lot of bows. I thought that I had to donate, like, one. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, that's fine. So... Oh, what did I just do? <laughs> Do we want to... How do I do actual clan battles? Oh, at the Tory Gate. So, presumably there's no, there's no ranking data here. So it looks like there are 1v1s, 2v2s. That's interesting. Okay, cool. So that's a that's a thing that exists. I don't think I'll be doing anything with that anytime too soon. But I may or may not have obtained some new bonuses 
for the rest of my time. I don't know whether it actually applies or not. So let's go to the dojo. We can now do Way of the Ninja Adept, and we can try to do this. Seems the time's right for imparting a next technique onto you. I've brought a skilled martial training partner myself. A ninja moves quickly, taking an eye for an eye. Use your training to read your opponent's movement and defeat him up utterly. Yes, every time I fight something, I can, in fact, scream, FO SHOW! Now, here's the question. Should I Batman this shit and, be, and, and swap from my incredibly cute puppy to my bullshit spider? That's the real question, is whether I should be using my spider as my uh, thinger. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay, I see how that works. I can very easily beat the shit out of this guy, it looks like. <laughs> From a practical perspective, he can't actually uh, handle the, the sheer volume of stuff that I can do to him. Yes, why is that even a question? <laughs> Would I summon and fuse with it in real life? That's a good question. Uh, no. But I do actually use spiders in video games a lot. A lot, a lot. Because, like, spiders scare me. It's time that my enemies share my fear. Okay. I'll, I'll swap to the spider for now. And then we can have it guarding my corpse every time I die. That's going to be fun. Ugh. Okay. So we just unlocked some new uh, ninja stuff. Nicely done. You make a good use of the bots of the ninja, but the way it's true mess. <laughs> Arts of the ninja. <laughs> As I just walk. <laughs> Stab. Uh, lovely. Uh, let's see. Uh, continue your training. Don't do all you can. Yep. Uh, oh, this has changed. Oh, this is only level 20. I can do this and get some Umbrasite. Uh, which we might as well do, I guess. Here's a question. Oh my god. That is so, this is so heavy. Look how heavy this shit is. Uh, let's see here. Going to here, how to do the shrine. <laughs> yeah. It was really funny just how like ridiculously weak that thing was. So human item drop look at that. 30% plus 50 luck. Oh man, we're we, we are a hundred and seventy-six percent pumping our uh, stuff. We we need to pump our spirit for a bit, because this spider is open. I can get per I can get permanent paralysis on my weapons from this shit. So the red, the color of the entire sky, lingered for a moment. I could sense a strange presence in the surroundings. It was the uncanny force that drew me here. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this should be pretty easy. Would be my guess. I don't think this is going to be terribly difficult. Um, I, and there's not going to be a lot of good rewards for the actual fights. So we're just going to plow through this and hopefully... Let's see. Hey, buddy. They're not dying that fast. Let's see. Okay. I don't know, man. Warriors are pretty OP. Okay. 
should I be sneaking up on you? Okay, you're done. You're donezo. I said you're donezo! There we go. Now you're donezo. Okay. Okay. Oh! There's a dude here. I guess I should have dealt with you, huh? Hey, we got fire on our weapons. Let's keep moving. Can I open you? Yes. Did I have? Maybe not. Wow, that did no damage at all. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Are we gonna do it? Yep. The power of spider compels you to die. So what the fuck is that? What is that element? Is that paralysis or something? It's gotta be paralysis, right? It's not poison. Poison is green. Hey, boss room kick. Ow. Yeah, that's that. You know what's gonna be great? Is if there's actually, like, a random spider in this fucking place that just kills me. That would be very amusing to me. The element of the spoonder, exactly. See, you're level 20. I don't think I need to pick on a level 20 corpse. Hey! Yep. Oh, you're still alive? Nope, no, never mind, you're dead. Confused for a second. It's all fine. You will never. Well, I'm guessing that it, it would have to be. It would have to be something that's paralysis inflicting, right? Because the spider has a passive paralysis effect. Oh, it could be slow. That would make sense. I don't think so, though, because it's, it's probably an element. If it's, if it's actually an element, then it's probably something different. Because it, it does do a, it does have a damage type, so I guess it isn't a status effect. I could see it being Earth. That would make sense. Not from a coloration perspective, but from a it's a spider perspective. I mean, there's plenty of places where Earth is purple. Like... Namek? <laughs> I don't actually remember what color Namek is, so... Yeah, there you are. Hey, buddy. Okay. There we go. I'm like, there has to be a, like, invisible wall here or something, right? Hey, buddy. Uh, he died. You are not a Tanuki. My item box is full? Oh shit, I forgot to get rid of my crap. Um, I guess it's fine, I, I'm like... Uh, let's... <laughs> You're just like, oh, look at that. What a shock. Arc Tole, full on armor.
Hey, buddy. The power of spider compels you to die. Uh, hey, buddy. Oh, that is Earth. Yeah. I can see the little rock. Bring it. Who's here? Oh, good. I can still loot the fire amulets. So that's the important thing. I can't equip that. I can't grab that. I can't grab this. Do I have any reason to care about any of this equipment? There's a thing here. This doesn't look dangerous at all. So is there a dude here that I need to worry about? Is that what's going on? <laughs> to say that I've realized that my true enemy is my inventory. I mean, that's fair. Uh, that's 117% fair for me. Oh, hey, buddy. Let's go. Wait, are there two on me right now? Because I think there might be two on me right now. Oh, wow, you actually have pretty good, uh... Ability here. Okay, we clearly need to drop an item. So where is the asshole? Oh, hey buddy. I mean the other asshole. Not this particular asshole. Where's the... There he is. Wait, why are you not? Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I actually don't know, because I would I actually did apply the earth element to someone. Uh, I think water element reduces uh, enemy armor. And um, fire sets you on fire. I don't know what wind does. Um, I think I've applied wind, but I don't actually know what it does. Electricity slows you down. Uh, it's like being snared by the spiders. And, I mean, at some point, I will. Uh, figure out what the other things do. Let's go ahead and activate this. And if 60 grand left. And we've worked out. Oh, hey, buddy. I forgot about you. Hey! I didn't fall off the cliff. How great is that? So, there's still a thing there. Oh no. Yeah, I definitely do not want sand in my butt. Oh, hey! It's a Tanuki! Excuse you. But, but I whistled at you! Oh, 
Okay, well, I mean... I don't know, I don't know... I got this... Hey, I got a new gesture out of it. That didn't take too long. I did it instantly, and then he just sat there. And then I had to do it again. I think it must have been because uh, I was in combat or something. Like, I deliberately ignored that guy behind me to whistle back at him. Eh, whatever. It's fine. See these amazing skills of mine? Ouch. Making it be that ha Hello. though legitimately the number of times that I've like been fucking around in menus and still not died is kind of impressive. Not like super impressive, but like it's it's a little impressive. Hey buddy, how's it going? Well, let's get away from you then. <laughs> let's uh not. Let's see. Earth makes it especially for easy keen sense of enemies, huh? Let's see. Oh, I guess I should probably do this. I don't, I don't really have, uh, like, elemental stuff as a core part of my strategy, because it's just dependent on which gear I have equipped, so... I need to be grabbing all these low-level pieces. I guess I don't. I'm not gonna go back and get that. Excuse you, sir. Calm down. And do I kick you? I do not kick you. Oh, that's lovely. That's exactly what I want to see. Fire dude. Oh. Fuck my life. Oh, fuck me! Oh, well, I just killed myself. <laughs> life is sad. Ooh. I don't know, I haven't- I actually don't usually notice sand in my underwear. Like, at all. I think I'm immune to that status effect. So where am I going? Okay, so we're going from here, down there. Ouch. Excuse you. Excuse you. Okay, we're gonna grab my body. What the fuck, man? That is not nearly as cute! Nope, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, go away. Go away, little thing. Little asshole boy, go away. Go away, soul boy. Uh, I missed the thing. Oh well. Well, let's hope that I beat the boss on the first try, because if I don't... Oh, hey, there's a cap here. Hey, cap here. Ouch. Hey, shinies! Alright, well, that's a bunch of shit that I don't need to worry about, because I can't pick it up. Hey, I got some sake, though. We got booze, that's the important thing. Alright, are we ready for the boss? Uh, sure. Why not? I'm gonna go ahead and regen first. Okay, we're regening. I'm not going to cast the other thing first. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, right, she's gonna have some new attacks, isn't she? Oh, that was silly, man. Oh, shit. Alright, so... Nope, oh, that was silly of me. Well, she's gonna eat me now. <laughs> Life is sad. Hey, spider, how's it going? I will say the spider does look kind of cute. But it also makes me not want to drink my drink. So, uh, how did I miss... The root... Yes. Wrong direction. So it turns out oh, that was not optimal. Uh, oh, fuck me. Everything's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Everything is fine. Go in. Where is the thing that I'm looking for? Ah, is that it? I think I just passed it, maybe? Oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Nope, we're fine. Everything's fine. Nailed it. Oh, you piece of shit. How dare you. How dare- Oh no. Oh, oh god. Nope. Oh, that's bad. That's... Not remotely... Oh no! Oh no no no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fine. Everything is not fine. Oh, but at least I now know, remember where that is. Oh god, I just lost all my souls. Ugh. But hey, I know where I'm going now, kind of. Down here. I wonder what happens if I poke that thing in the face. Okay, so basically, I need to drop here. Then I can drop down. And then I can climb back up. Oh god, nope. Not, not if you hit me. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Maybe. Maybe not. So you have dropped down. And they're both down now. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Fuck! Oh! Baby! <laughs> well. What I can do now, if I so choose, this is fun. Uh, this is what happened. How, this is a level 20 area, and I have died this many times. That's very embarrassing. It's not that embarrassing. It's very me. Uh, let's see. So we're going to drop down here again. That's how we roll. That's how we do. Then this guy's dead. Which means... <laughs> Try to get me now, suckers! <laughs> there we go. We activated the Kodama thing. There we go. And from here, we don't even need to activate. I guess we do have to activate, but that's okay. All set, all set, 127% set. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I only died, yeah, but but think of the savings, because if I don't one-shot this, then... Because, you know, I'm clearly not going to one-shot a level 20 boss.
Oh, you're on fire. Cool. Oh, that was the limit. Well, I'm gonna die. Oh, she's just gonna keep on. Okay, we're fine. This is probably lethal right here. Okay, so we need to... These are all better colors than the other ones that I had. There we go. Nailed it. First try. <laughs> yeah, I could just drop all the other stuff that I got. But they're, they're purples that are like level 20 purples. They're not... They're not relevant to my needs. I guess I can dis I can disassemble them though, so they have that advantage. The airy red sky is cleared and pieces return to the area. In this land, it seems the demons roll open in twilight. Feeling sure that even a fiercer battle lay ahead, I left in peace. So this is a rib. Looks more like a thing or whatever, but. So I can do this again to get high quality lacquer and leather cords, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it's... My hair was closer to when I showered when you were talk commenting on it before. It changes depending on the distance from my most recent shower. Level 53. Ooh, this is interesting. This would specialize toward a uh, thing here. Do I want to get rid of all the blues that are completely irrelevant to my interests because they're weapons that I would never use? Yes. Let's take a look and see if I can change my hair style to something new. Doesn't look like I have a new stuff available. Nope. So. Ooh, Demon God Visor. Looks very special. That is a lot of Kabakos. Do I ha what the current hat that I have is like level two. Do I have any available stuff that I would actually care about? So there's nothing new to do in the dojo. Can't level up. My item box only has 400 out of 500 items in it now. So clearly my Omnio life drain is not doing anything for me. So let's go up here. This gives me 16% drop rate from Yokai. I mean... Uh, we're gonna equip a fan and we're gonna probably... Oh, I'm actually going to leave this on, because this has my Kodama sons. Do I have any... I don't actually remember which one I was equipped to do. Alright, 
So let's take a look here. We've got the disappearing Runjatai. And we can get dual things there. We can also get the Master Omnios. Well, oh god, you. Ranjatai is the most magnificently fragrant incense wood under heaven, and yet it seems that a fragrant fragment of what was found in the cemetery for no obvious reason. The wood that even Nobunaga cut himself a piece of. How I long to smell its perfume even once. The same goes for you, I'm sure. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop standing around and go get it. Let's see. As war turns and faith falters, ever more temples fall into decay, but the spiritual power inherent in blah blah blah. Yeah, we see this. We've heard this before. We've heard it all before. It's all just temples. Oh! So this is a short level. Any high level? High level buddies? You're not high level. You're not high level either. Excuse you, sir. Uh, rude. Level 69, so clearly you need to be killed. Oh, fuck me. Good call. Way to be here. Wait, what? That was weird. I don't know how I managed to avoid doing what I was intending to do there, but... Everybody's still wearing Warrior of the West stuff for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Maybe I wasn't looking. Maybe I didn't need it to have him targeted. Taunt? Okay. <laughs> like, what on earth do you want me to do? The funny thing is that. Hey, Yokai Telepathy! Wait, what? Uh, apparently that was the whole mission. <laughs> so, that escalated quickly. Okay, telepathy means. Is that from just doing the thing? I mean, it's not. So this is Ranjatai. I want to say I'm impressed, but it looks like a chunk of scrap wood. An obvious fraud. This is not what I was hoping for at all. Here, you can take this as your reward. Fake or no, it may be a dis... You may find a discerning buyer willing to pay you something for it. Sandalwood. Okay. And we got Omnio. Hey, I got, I got wealthy samurai. Yay. I'm wealthy. Keep pumping luck. And let's see here. Next is... We have a main mission here. Any other side missions to do? We already did this. Okay. So here's a question. Do we want... Oh, wow, this is... 
53 actually. Do we want to try? to make some cool tonfa for ourselves. Cause we could, uh, I guess, can we even make them yet? No, we can't even make the, the more modern ones. So we could try reforging. So what tonfa do I have? The issue is that, like, if we wanted to get this to... The reforging cost is cheap for this, but if we wanted to get... Actually, what I can do is I can I can check temper. We can armor lit. What is, what is that? I guess I can't look at what it does. So would that mean that if I hit something in the legs... I get finger. Oh, uh, let's see here. There are eight fingers here. Irashai. Irashai. So we can disassemble all of the Crash tier gear that we have here. I could try making myself some new armor. Give me a second, actually. We've got right now the level 18 hat that's a legendary strategist thing that doesn't have anything on it that I particularly need. So we could actually go to the blacksmith and try to make a new one. So let's go ahead and forge up some tools. I can make 26? Jesus. quality of everything. Uh, disassembling gives you all the ingredients that go into making something, and the ingredients will be of the quality of the gear that you disassemble. So if you disassemble a high quality piece of gear, you'll get high quality ingredients out of it. So not too shabby. But what we can do over here is if I make... what was it? Head? Yeah, it was. So, this gives matchlock damage. This gives key recovery speed, which is kind of cool. It's too heavy right now. So this gives damage reduction. Ninjutsu power, we don't want. Two pieces gives me sense enemies, then I get treasure sense. Close combat damage plus 9% for the thing is not that amazing. So do I want to instead... I could go with something like just the scout armor, which is like just really light, or the pirate armor, which is also really light. I can't make it myself, but I can have her do it for me, which... Let's, let's try doing this. We got life plus 24. Let's go ahead and equip this for now. That's probably better than what I got. The issue is that we're using some pretty high tier gear right now. We're using high tier materials for stuff that's really not that interesting. And we don't want to get new gloves probably. It's probably not worth it. I could make new pants. I 
I don't have very many of the highest quality of these. Let's do it anyway. Let's make some pants. So that is almost completely useless. Even though it's legendary, it's almost completely useless. But actually, it's it is legendary, so I can potentially just get rid of some of these things that it's got on it. So this is this has oh, let's take a look here. Bonus for status ailments suffered. So this is level 49. This is level 55? Jesus. I didn't realize that I had such high level things. Right, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. We'll tinker with this at some other time. I keep saying that and I keep not doing it. So, how strange to see snow following in June. You must do something before the capital completely freezes over. The cold is coming to Honoji Temple. Rumor has it that a woman's cries echo from the structure every night. Will you look into it? You know, this seems like a common problem. Honoji, a temple in the northern area of Yamashiro no Kuni and the final resting place of Oda Nobunaga. Killed just before he was able to realize his ambition of uniting all of Japan. Known both as a demon and a hero for gaining control of nearly all of Japan in unprecedented speed, Oda Nobunaga was killed in 1582 when he was betrayed by one of his allies, and his sudden death sent shockwaves throughout the land. The betrayer, Akechi Mitsuhide, was himself quick, quickly killed, and his intentions in killing Nobunaga remained shrouded in mystery. Even now, nearly 20 years later, no one enters the temple for fear of the curse of Oda Nobunaga. Well, that seems fair. So, uh, we're gonna go in immediately, I assume? So what's over there? Is that an enemy? I have so much stuff on my bar right now. Hello. It seems a little cold out here for you, buddy. He says as he's not wearing a shirt. Uh, let's see. That is a shiny crystal pillar right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys actually do quite a lot of finger damage. Excuse you, did you just do what I think you did? What the fuck is this? Can I break it? Man. There we are. Murder you. Get a new Tonfa. It's a piece of crap, but that's fine. Excuse you. Is there another shrine here? There's another shrine right on the other side of this. While you're talking, I'm going to go ahead and summon this thing, right? You, might, you don't mind, right? Oh, 
Well. Yes. Yes, you're a big boy. You're a big boy. Keep doing it. Keep it up. I believe in you. Not taking nearly as much damage as I would have expected from those guys. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, I'm now having lag from all the snow effects, I guess. Oh, shit. My no, there's. I'm just an idiot. I thought that my path get back got uh, broken. Also, I was still sitting in a uh, high stance, which is a bad idea. It's not very mobile. There's times when you want to be in a high stance, but it's not your default stance for punching things. Speaking of which, I'm still in high stance. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I don't mean to be a bother, but I do intend to run straight on past you and ignore all of you completely. You, you don't mind, do you? I really need to get to my body and that fucking creepy ass. What the fuck is that? What is that spider? Wrong one. Should have killed this one first, because if I kill this one first, then I would end with the appropriate element for the. Well, hey, buddy! All set. Hey, buddy. No. Nope, that was silly. Am I gonna get myself killed like a thing? Yep. Yes, I am. Nope. Oh, whoa. I should have gotten killed by that, but I didn't, so. It's all good. I think you're running blind here, it's fine. No, no bad blood. No, nothing personal, I just murdered you. Hey, shrine! Hey! Hey, hey, it's Kodama! Some sleeper gonna Kodama around. Or something. Oh, plus three damage! Oh, it's so good! Oh, it's so delicious! Oh, plus three! Guide this Kodama to the shrine. I'm in a new area, aren't I? Do I have a thing active? Yeah, the angry Lickitungs are definitely a uh, problem. Yeah, I don't have a Kodama blessing right now, so I should probably sell one. Okay, so. Every time you go to a new area, you need do it again. Yay. Mm -hmm. Uh, tiny mushroom people? Oh, they're, they're not mushroom people. They're like little plant dudes. They're actually wearing rice bowls on their heads. So the hat they're wearing is a, is a rice bowl. So they have different t colors and different like patterns of rice bowl, but yeah, they're all wearing rice bowls. There we go. Slimy. Wow, I can't believe I didn't get hit by that.
Okay. So we're at the back side of this thing now. So there's butterflies here. Are you going to be... Do I need to kill the butterflies? Interesting. Uh, nobody tell Kaz. <laughs> nobody tell Kaz that I just had to murder about 15,000 butterflies. Uh, let's see, so that opened that. I got a new ability and I forgot about it. That was pretty badass. Con Chop. will eventually become two of these assholes. Uh, oh, so to, to explain what the Kodama are actually for, I guess I could actually go through that. Uh, the Kodama basically give you little bonuses. They're not really important exactly. They're just... Uh, they're just useful. Oh, shit. I'm actually going to ignore this other one because I'm just going to take my fire and run with it. So, don't go away. Not that way. So we're going this way. Uh, well, I wouldn't know anything about that because I don't have any of that information. I don't. I don't know that the. It wouldn't really make a huge amount of sense for the for the ending to be tied to the Kodama. There's been a lot of. Um, there's been a lot of mechanics and a lot of like stuff that I've seen that has clearly been based off of, uh, uh, like, doing different stuff in the areas to unlock the Guardian Spirits. So I wouldn't be too surprised if there were uh, ending consequences from, like, whether you acquire certain Guardians, but that was really silly to me. Uh, but with the Kodama, the Kodama don't seem to unlock any new stuff in terms of like plot elements but i could be i could be wrong it could be that they are very plot relevant uh later 
I just don't know. Uh, let's see. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. We're going right here. Right, so we got our body. I am so lost right now. Ah, oh, this is the this is the area that I just was. Yes, okay, gotcha. So that one's toast. Oh There was an Oni behind me. So that's the thing that happened. But yes, I do I do absolutely have to get all the Kodama just because it's the only acceptable behavior. So where the fuck did that guy come from? Oh, he came from right here. Well duh. Taking off your fucking horns, Jesus. Let's see. That would be awesome. I would actually really appreciate having a uh, rice bowl helmet. That would make my day. Being able to tro show my loyalty to the the way of the Kodama. Yeah, I haven't really been using this purge mechanic at all. So that's how that works, okay. So, I now have the ability to activate the purge mechanic, and then, after I activate it, then attack again, which is kind of cool. Kodama. So let's try taking a look at the Genji armor here. So this requires what? What am I missing? I'm missing 10 strength. So if I, oh my god, this I was expecting Genji's armor to be a little bit lighter. We're not wearing that. Even for, even for the meme, we're not doing it. It's just too heavy. Let's see. Next up. Is murdering things. Oh! Hey, lady, how's it going? What could possibly go wrong? Just try to get out. Alright, well, that's fine. No problem. No pro hey, it's Kotama again. You scared off the fucking Kodama. Die in a fire, literally. You betty. And next we go to murder. It is time to go and murder things. Nope. So, what happens if I go up there? I'm gonna wait to go up there. I'll go.
and we're going up, up, up. So what's up here? Anything interesting? Oh. So from up here we can see that there's more stuff over that way. Hey! The other thing we can see is... Hey, buddy. Let's go. Oh, boy. <laughs> he saw me. You know, funnily enough, I could probably just bypass this guy. You know what I'm gonna... Oof. Now that he's down here, he can't get back to where he just was. So, we're gonna go deal with this situation first. Again, uh, nobody tell Kaz what's happening right now. None of that happened. And let's see. You know, I actually had a suspicion that this was going to be a Tanuki because it wasn't even a, aligned with the wall properly. That's not it. Oh, well. Oh, Jesus, you have a bow. It's like, oh no. The other me has a bow that, it, that I would never use. Oh, Jesus. We both stunned ourselves. That is very appropriate. Okay. Everything's fine. So I, I just, I had to murder myself a little bit, but not too much. Not too much. Just a little bit of self massacre. It's all good. So this guy's presumably teleported back here. Yeah. I don't know how he got back. It looked like he kind of just dissipated into the ground. Oh, that would have been dangerous. Oh, did I break your horn? Yeah. Hey, you're supposed to be, like, dumb Oni dude. Why are you throwing shit at me? We go. He's getting. He's putting on airs because of those crystals he's got growing out of his back. It's not good for your character to have crystals growing out. That's my story. So we found a hand cannon. Is there more stuff over here that I didn't expect? Yes, I did not go up this ladder. Okay. Yep. So I don't see too much else here. So let's keep going. We can go basically back to the start point, question mark. Is that where we're going over here? I think this might be back toward the first shrine. Because, yeah, this is right next to the first shrine, I think. So, we might as well reactivate this. Just for the hell of it. Oh, the other thing that I didn't do is that I got access to all the sh these skills and I didn't actually use them, so... I 
think the gold stuff is passives that are always active, maybe. Run speed increased. Very nice. So yeah, the, co the color scheme indicates what it does. And let's see here. What kind of effect it is. Do we want to try to get... I only have... Four samurai points. Let's take a look and see if we have a bunch of hair. Oh, that actually was exactly what I was looking for. So, no, these are locks. Yeah, no locks. Yes, locks of hair. Yes, nice. Okay, so with this and this. And this. Look how many of these we have. We have. How much? 25 something thousand Amrita um, just sitting on this. That's pretty cool. And let's see here. So let's go back to learning skills. And do we want to do get this? Now? Let's try it. Yeah, I think that this affects me no matter what I'm in. Cool beans. So I'll try to tinker with those more. The other thing is that I should actually try tinkering with other weapons at some point. Just to get myself a uh, familiarity bonus with other weapons, because you get a much faster growth rate in the. Uh, Thinger from that, I think, by using other weapons. Rather than continuing to use the same weapon type. So if I swapped over other weapon types, I think I could get a bunch of uh, stuff. Who's here? Dare. Dare. Oh, there he is. Hey, there's a set of friends. That's silly me. Oh, Jesus! Uh, I did not have enough stamina for that. I keep forgetting that the... the These things have, like, a ridiculous amount of... Uh, uh, stamina clearing when they hit you. You do not want to block the attacks of one of these assholes. Yes. At some point is generally never. That is... That is the way things work with me. too. Nice. Thank you for alerting me to that Kodama. I wouldn't have found him otherwise. Yes. 
so that I can go around here, question mark. Is this where I need to be? Peekaboo. I kill you. Fail. I'm uh, very good at this. Uh, Dude over there. There's a Kodama right here. Nice. So we found the next Kodama, and we're gonna not quite fall off the cliff. Cool. Lock that. That guy's meant to drop off on you. Let's see here. Up we go here. Let's see. So that's the shrine. Bad idea. It's never a good idea to do a drop down on the Oni because they don't get hit stunned by it. And you have ridiculously long ending lag on that animation, so. Just don't. In other words, don't take the plunge, it's a trap. Okay, so. Okay, I'm very glad that you aren't a Tanuki, because honestly, I'm not super enthusiastic about trying to. Fuck. That's not great. Not a great place to be right now. So where's my body at? Oh, there's the there's the thing. Oh, my body's right next to the thing that I needed to destroy. So there's a dude here. Here he is. I mean, these guys gotta be weak against fire, right? If Pokemon typing has taught me anything... You are a piece of crap. Wait, no, that's not what it is. Don't tell Kaz, and... Excuse me. <sighs> Don't tell cause the butterflies are dead. Uh, oh, that was uh, not, not good. Uh, that was very not good. Uh, let's go ahead and just walk away for- Oh, hey, buddy. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? It's fine. Activate you. Alright, now we're fine. We're fine. Everything. We got this. 
We have 117% cosmos. Oh, whoa. Maybe we don't got this. What am I talking about? Of course we got this. Just watch that burn do its job. Did I just dodge some guys explode? So there's somebody throwing shit, like grenades or something, down, and then also there was that guy. But on the plus side, we killed the thing that was actually, uh, that doesn't respawn. So... Joke's on you suckers. I just get more free experience. That's... Body. I'm not gonna lie, this thing's more colorful, which is actually a problem when it comes to me identifying. Ah, there you are! There's that piece of crap who was throwing fucking fireballs at me. Uh, how do I get up there? I didn't see a way to drop in there. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's a way to drop in there right here. Hey, Master Omnio uh, locks. Oh, hey, buddy. I actually thought you were from outside, so well done. So, Dama. So, how many do we have left? Probably not that many. Oh, shit. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Those actually fall in the classification of Oni that are, um, like, just able to be killed by... Where basically, I can actually hit stun them. I do feel kind of bad about sneaking up on those tiny dudes and then murdering them, but only slightly bad. I mostly feel amused. A shrine here. And we've got this thing here. I have not figured out a way to get into this yet. Uh, do I want to activate this shrine? Uh, I don't think I want to activate this shrine yet. 
I don't want to respawn all the enemies. Okay, so I can see from here that it looks like I need to get from over here somewhere on top of this building. Excuse you, sir. So from here, we should be able to reach that Kodama. And that is not the last Kodama either. Huh. Ooh, Taima Kuniyuki. Okay, again, we are not telling Kaz about all, any of the murdering of butterflies that may or may not be happening right now. Obviously, we would never murder butterflies, so that's not a thing that we'd have to warn, warn her about anyway, but assuming that any butterflies were murdered, we definitely wouldn't be telling her about it. These are, these are all things that need to be made clear here. Now then, we can go ahead and level up. We can do some more skill if we want. That gives us some more attack power. If we pump strength up by one, we actually get access to another weapon, another armor type, I think. I'm kind of tempted to put some heart, but I think I'm going to pump strength by one. This will give us uh, the ability to equip some new item types, and that's vaguely useful. It also gives us a tiny, tiny increase to our weight limit. There's an Oni here. Hello. Wow, I am really, uh... Not doing a lot of damage to these things with this. I seem to have backtracked. Whoops. So. What was the point of that? Let me get back to here. So. There's a giant thing of ice right here that I broke. Didn't that just get me back to an old location? Is this new? That sound design. Oh, hey buddy. Hey, I think this is where the last Kodama is. Might not be the last one, but... the Kodamas. Nice. We are all set then. We got all the Kodamas, and we're in good shape. So now we can go with dropping down here and saying hello to whoever's down here. Can we open this? Nope. Can't open this from the side. Okay. A little strange. Okay, we can activate this. Did he just explode? 
Why did he just explode? He still had plenty of HP left. He just gave up. So we've opened up this door, which goes to somewhere. Is this a new location? This might, be, uh, this might be a new location. This might be the old location? I don't think so. This is clearly moving on with our lives. Right, I'm gonna check. It's possible that there's like a just flat, flat out group of doors that are locked from this side that I can just go straight through to a shrine or something. Because I'm a little confused about where the heck I am. So that's her. There's another one here. Oh my goodness. Nice. I found a hot spring. Okay, I guess we're gonna enter the hot spring then. It's not what I was intending to find. I thought I was looking for a shortcut, but we've now found a hot spring. And I don't know how I ended up finding it. Ouch. Oh boy, hello. Oh shit, I am snared. That's good to know. Okay, so she can snare me. With that fucking clothing of hers? Question mark. That was silly of me. Oh, there was no reason for me to do that. Let's just let's just jump straight at an Oni with a giant axe while it's just completely able to attack. So that happened, and now I need to figure out where the fuck I was. Which is, uh, easier said than done. I have, like, legitimately no idea where I was. Is this... Yes! Ah, I know where I am now. I know where I am! Ha 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 ha! So we can go back, grab our body, which is on the plus side, in a perfectly comfy location. Uh, sleep well, Christy. I'm probably gonna be ending soon too, actually. Kaz is already asleep. Okay. So these will attack me after a while, it's like, oh god. And now I can go down here and grab this. No problem, Christy. I'm always here streaming, doing much murder for the entertainment of others because I'm just so generous. It feels very weird being thanked for playing a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hey, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll be, be we'll be beating some things today. I don't think we're going to be beating the whole game. I'll probably beat this level and then I'll probably end there because I've been streaming for quite a long time actually, and I need to uh, eat my dinner and move on with potentially sleeping? Question mark? Maybe. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, Double, buddy. Plus side, I've already got the region effect. 
Yeah, uh, mostly sleep. Honestly, I'm actually not that hungry. Later, Nixon. Let's see. Uh, th oh, wait, did this break behind me? No. I, I know what direction I'm facing. I know where I'm going. Uh, hey, Soulstone. There we go. So we've opened this door, which goes to somewhere. This is the beginning of the level. Nope. This is back to here. Okay. Uh, okay, nothing here. No Tanuki. Oof, just foreigner armor. Come down, cut down by an Amrita fiend. So that's presumably what those dudes with the uh, crystals coming out of their backs are. And this is presumably the boss, would be my guess. I still have not actually figured out how to get to the shrine. Is the shrine on the left direction here? Is that it? The shrine through the left. Take you out. And then I think I have. Yes, I have a friend here. You got a friend in ice. Oh shit! You're not allowed to just use the Z axis to dodge. That's cheating. Presumably, if I just died, I should have. I, I bet I came through here, right? Hypothetically speaking, there should be a shrine somewhere in this damn game. But we have seen no evidence to indicate such anytime recently. Uh, huh. So this goes back to here. Left is the thinger. Huh. I'm surprised by this, because usually I would expect to see... I guess maybe this way leads to... No, this is just a dead end. But maybe the way that I came through actually was closer to a shrine than I thought. Nope, this is a drop-down anyway. Well, maybe the drop-down is how I get back. So, I mean, I guess I could technically come through this whole way. It's not that hard, but this is a really long route. This can't possibly be the fastest route, is it? This goes all the way back to the entrance. Okay, whatever. So, we're going back to this, and we have eight... We need 6,000 more to actually get rid of some of this stuff. So I guess we will uh, make an offering here. I guess I won't earn very much from each of these. A 
uh, do I want to just start using the, uh, uh, what was the total one that I needed? This is worth shit ton, holy crap. Actually shouldn't be handing him high quality stuff. I have a lot of mid, mid quality stuff here actually. Okay, we're all set. Level up. And what do we want to pump? Not pumping st strength anymore. We could keep pumping skill. I could be, I still could start pumping heart, but I don't think I want to do that. I think we're going to just start uh, pumping skill from now on. We've now got all the, oh, actually I wanted to pump spirit so I could get the paralysis uh, effect going. Ultimate dedicator, your reputation level's increased, nice. Toughness, I guess. Alright, so now, to run over this way. It's a ridiculously long run, I think. So, going through here, and going to the right, ignore you, pass you, go into the house. Dodge past you. Oh shit. Dodge past you. That's a lot of stuff to have to do just to get to the boss. I mean, it's not really that much. It's reasonably quick, but still. Cutscene. How's it going, Shiva? Oh jeez. Uh you have a halberd. Oh, okay, I know who this is. You know what's funny? I actually was gonna say her name is probably Yuki Ona. That's very amusing. Yuki Ona literally just means ice woman. Oh, well I'm dead. I'm not dead. But I'm, close. I'm close, but not quite. Oh, oh, that killed me. Uh, should have easily touched that. And then I did because I'm cool like that. Okay, so. We now have to run the whole way again. And let's see here. The fire damage should help a bit. The other thing should help a bit as well. I'm curious if there's like a way to be durable enough that you could actually consistently survive an attack from bosses. Because maybe if I'd stacked like just stamina, because I have a lot of points in skill, so I could probably have another one. A few hundred HP? But an extra few hundred HP, I don't know if that would actually give me a decent chance to survive. That was silly me. Nope, that was also silly me. That is Hard hit. Hard hit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, let's see here. So we're going to run through again. And it's not it's not a very far run. My concern is more more so than the length of the run. 
is the fact that I have to run past that uh, other Yuki Ona is that that's the problem that I've got. So let's see here. Uh, I'm concerned that she's going to hit me. She's just going to tag me from behind or something. So what are we going to do about this situation? Which, which one of these weapons should I have equipped? Mid attack damage, strong attack, key reduction. I feel like I'm going to be using mid attack for this, so. We'll go with this. Oh, that's the first time I've seen a boss do a different attack for its opening. She has a halberd and she's chasing me. <laughs> fine. Oh, actually, I didn't even need to... Okay, so that's fine. I just need to be uh, turning for that. stamina so because she got she tagged me with the thing I'm not sure I don't think I've, I don't think I've been successfully learning too many of the attacks that she uses here I've instead just kind of been running away like a coward so but her range attack shouldn't be too big of a problem. Neither of her range attacks are too much of a problem, actually. So if I can get, um, if I can get myself to uh, dive in after the range attacks, then I should be in pretty okay shape. I'm actually going to uh, swap down to low stance for now because. I feel like it's probably a better a better bargain. She's presumably going to eventually stop chasing me. Yes. And then she transitioned back into this again. I don't think for that one I even really need to dodge. But yeah, the fact that she's doing uh, what she's doing there means that I can probably, if she's doing the chase, like the really hard chase there, uh, she'll transition into an attack is actually really exploitable. Because this is going into some actual, like, normal attack. But this, I think... Nope. Okay, all set. Okay, everything's fine. So if I just stick to 
Oh shit. Okay. We're fine. No, we're not fine. I'm snared. Ooh boy. Okay. We're still fine, because she's not doing anything for now. I had a suspicion that was it. She's using this now. Oh. Okay. The dynamic of the fight hasn't changed too much. Changed a little, but not a lot. That attack there is a little dangerous, but oh Jesus! Uh, um. Okay, so I might have to. I think I have to block that one. There's, there's no way on earth that that is something that I can dodge. At least I don't think so. Maybe if you were in low stance, you could do perfect dodges to eye frame through it each time. But that was like, what, five instances of that? And I'm pretty sure that it's gonna have good enough tracking that you have to eye frame through those attacks. I don't think you can actually be in a place where the attack isn't going to be. Oh, goddammit. That's what I was talking about with the, uh, the thing there. Okay, so... We're going to pop this. And we're not gonna activate anything else first. Yeah, phase two is definitely going to be really rough. So, if I could get a burn into her in phase one... Shit. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, I did not die. Should have died, but not die. Oh, that was silly, man. Why did I think that was going to work? Okay. Uh, I think I know how I can do this. I can burn... I can set a burn on her when I'm transitioning her into phase two. Uh, and that'll be... Because I'm pretty sure that at that point in the fight, I can actually just cause uh, just pure damage as much as I want. So if I can just damage her willy-nilly at that point... That'll be good. Yeah, I expect... I'm probably supposed to be doing... Oh, wait, what, what snared me? Oh god. She caught me with her damn thing. Oh god, he's still following me. Okay, well... Everything's fine. Uh, do we want to wait a bit? No, we don't need to. Phase one is not that hard. So, it's a waste of time. Okay. Like, I could get killed while I'm waiting on the regen, but I could get killed without... Like, if I had full HP, I'd still could die. I think it makes a big difference there. That was still aiming. Oh boy. On the plus side, we do still have the regen. Nope. On the plus side, we do still have the regen. And... I would have preferred to have this available for the next phase, but, you yeah, know, it's fine. Gonna waddle her way toward me. We're gonna 
take an actual free hit. There we go. I want to get a couple more hits into her, maybe, and then uh, activate both of my other effects. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so... We're now snared. Because I am a dope. Okay, we're not going to approach her right now, because we are snared. Oh, fuck. I think we're about at that time. Okay. Now's the time I need it. Damn it. I, I should have just backed out. I wanted I wanted to get a uh good uh, phase transition, but that was silly of me. I, I am distrustful of the second phase, because if I can't block those ice shards, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I'm going to be in a world of hurt if I can't block those ice shards. And I don't know if I can or not yet, so I'm, a little, I'm concerned about uh, getting into phase two and just finding, oh, I guess I'm fucked, because I don't actually have the ability to do anything about this. Okay, we're fine. And I think I should be uh, running back in a low stance. Okay. That was actually a really nice set of hits there. So we're transitioning. Oh shit! Ow! Uh. Oh Jesus Christ, I did it again. <laughs> So we're transitioning into phase two soon, and then all of a sudden phase two hits, and I'm like, wait, wait, no, I am not prepared for this. I am not remotely prepared. So I need to be really far away from her to prevent that, or I need to actually get the, uh, the dodging on it. That's actually not that bad an attack to dodge, probably. I just need to be able to recognize that it's happening. It's like, oh, oh, this is happening now. I'm about to get stabbed in the chest. I should probably do something. Because I think for that, I I just need to uh, dodge appropriately. Ouch. That's an example of what we call not dodging appropriately. But yeah, I did seem to trigger phase two early there, which was definitely not my intention. I don't want to trigger phase two before she goes into the thing, but it looks like she might just trigger phase two when she damn well pleases.
Oh shit, wrong spell. shit ton of damage there, though. Oh, I thought I dodged that, but I did not. That's... Oh, that's one that I need to try to block, because... Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, man. Phase two. Phase two, baby. Because, yeah, we can get a shit ton of damage onto her during the transition if we get um, the fire and uh, other thing active at the same time. Unfortunately, I did not set her on fire, I don't think. Okay. I was kind of hoping to be able to set her on fire there, but that did not happen. might want to hold on the transition for a while. Oh, I think she's going to be close to transitioning now. I don't know what her HP needs to be to transition, because I think she transitions into the next phase based off of HP, not based off of the other damage. And we've got... Good opening here. Okay, you are on fire. I'm just gonna stay way the fuck over here. And we're gonna continue to stay way the fuck over here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we in the business call skipping phase two. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was... Uh, it feels kind of cheesy, but, you know, it's a legitimate strategy to say, you know, rather than deal with phase two, what I could do is I could do so much damage during the transition that I don't have to deal with phase two. And so that's what we did. Snake Man. 
Interesting. Usurahicho. That is a. Oh, I have a butterfly now? I have a butterfly familiar. Well, that's cool. I have a lot of guardian spirits now. I would there's a lot of them in this game. Like a lot a lot. Are you? Interesting. Interesting. I have no idea what those things were that were surrounding him. It kind of looked like the stuff from the yokai, but that isn't the, that's not the feeling that I got off of the actual dialogue. Like, that was a... I've never been so glad to see the sunlight. Kyoto should thaw out soon from its frost now, thanks to you. I still find it hard to believe that Yuki Ono was actually Lady... No, Lord Nobunaga's wife. Never a dull moment with you around, is there? Master Tenkai is a close friend of Lord Ieyasu. We should take his advice and head for Mount Hiei. Okay, so we've just taken this done. We can go here. We have demon hunting as a submission down here. Uh, we are going to be... Uh, ooh, smithing text for some other stuff here. Uh, but we're going to be probably ending here, actually. I was thinking I would be doing some uh, miscellaneous stuff, but I'm actually really tired. Uh, I'm, like, all of a sudden, I'm just like, oh, I am tired as hell. So I think I'm going to just end here rather than do the uh, miscellaneous stuff that I usually do at the end of the stream. Uh, and so we'll end here. We've got uh, a good amount of progress that we've made. Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel a little bit bad for that boss, uh, but that's kind of the the joy of having like a really high burst damage build where it's like, okay, uh, I have no idea how to deal with phase two, and uh, so I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to deal with phase two. We're just going to plow through, deal so much damage in phase one that we just don't have to deal with phase two pretty much at all. She had a couple of attacks that she dealt, but she only really got a chance to attack twice in phase two before she was taken out. So it just, when bosses have like transition phases where they're vulnerable to damage, you can really do a lot of work in a very short time if you do the proper preparation first. But that is going to be it for uh, today. So thank you all for watching. It's been a pleasure stream for you today. Uh, tomorrow we will be doing something different. We're not gonna be doing this. I don't think there's any way that I can justify saying that this is a mass stream. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to doing more of this at some point in the future, probably on uh, not Tuesday either, so neither Monday nor Tuesday. Both of those are probably going to be EU4, so I'll probably come back to this on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday is probably the day for uh, this again. I might tinker with it a little bit more in between. I might even do a little bit of math with this uh, where I'm just like legitimately looking at my stuff, but I'll be doing that behind the scenes. I'm not going to do that. Uh, live probably because it'll just be boring uh, but anyway that's it for right now so thank you for watching it's been a pleasure to train you today and I hope to see